New episode of KFC Radio is about to start right now, but before we do that, I need a favor from you. We've got a new YouTube channel. It's called the KFC Radio Clips Channel. It's a short-form YouTube with all of the best interviews, segments, and moments from KFC Radio, past and present, just a few minutes long, so you can keep up with the podcast and all of our greatest moments if you don't have time to watch the full episode. So head on over there. There's a link in the description below. Click that, subscribe, and then come back and catch the full episode. Thank you. It's another edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. It's Solar Eclipse Day. Uh, maybe maybe nobody ever even listens to this. Maybe it's the end of the world. Who knows? It could be. We got uh, we got earthquakes. We got eclipses. Before we get into that real quick. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure to keep dressing better? Because you're doing it again. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. I said it this morning. I said it this morning. As soon as you walked in, I was like, damn, Kevin looks good again. Here's how it starts. I, I was gonna I was gonna talk about it. It was like it's like when uh when Dave started following Jackie and she got all nervous. Yeah, yeah. Or when you're like a famous follower. I absolutely do. Yeah. I found out what happened. What happened was I just bought uh pants. The only thing that's different is pants. Yeah. Top up is literally the same stuff I've been wearing. It's just I used to just wear black pants every single day. Black pants, black pants, black pants. And now I just have a few pairs of corduroys, a few pairs of other different types of black pants. But 100%. Yeah. 100%. Bro, and then you get in your head where you're like, well, I can't disappoint people. And it's like, no one fucking cares, John. But you're well, like. Apparently they do. Yeah. But apparently they do. <laughs> apparently they fucking do. Yeah. I absolutely. I, 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 I got that. The, the sweatshirt, which is it was just a brown hoodie. Yeah. But it was it was a, uh, a, a Christmas gift. And I sent it to the person that sent it to me, and they were like, "Awesome, cool, man! Like, great, thanks for sharing." The co- it was I was on a group chat with the couple. They were like, "Great, like, we're happy you love it." It's like, it's a nice cool. sweatshirt. Like, yeah. I got, yeah, yeah. I mean, great. You picked the right brown hoodie. Yeah. Apparently, I don't know. I was picking the wrong brown hoodies before that. But I, I absolutely am feeling the pressure now. But now that now that that's out there. Tomorrow I might just come in, just I'll wear a full blown robe. <laughs> You're not gonna control me. Fuck you guys. But yeah, no, absolutely, hundred percent. It's very funny you said that. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's solar eclipse day. Um, I still don't quite know what's really gonna happen. Do you? Like I saw a picture of somebody from South. I think it was a Southwest flight. Like, this is the picture I took during the... Yeah, yeah. And it looked like they were in goddamn outer space. And I was like, if it's going to look like that, that's actually pretty fucking cool. I, I, I have really no idea what happened. Yeah, Doesn't it either. only occur along that line? Along that line. Was like, that people mean? are flying to... There's a line yeah, 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 that goes yeah, yeah, through yeah, Arkansas. Right, right. Where there's, there's, they call it totality. We're like... Okay. So everybody sees, like, some variation of it. We're lucky that we are in, like... We're, like, 95% total. If you go to Buffalo... It's 100%. You'll, yeah. I see. I got, okay. a, I got a text... From Uber Blade, saying uh, what it was like one thousand nine hundred and fifty bucks a pop will fly you from New York to like to the totality in Buffalo, and then right back. And the fucking ad said, "Don't worry, you don't have to get out in Buffalo. <laughs> it will bring you right back to New York." <laughs> um, but like I, there this happened not too long ago, but I think it was either overcast or something, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, I mean, it happened during the Trump presidency. Right, because he right. famously looked up at it yeah. and was like, fuck you guys. So that's what I mean. I don't know what's happening, what it's going to look like. I still don't know. Can you look at it or can you not? You're definitely not supposed, supposed to. Supposed to. Yeah. But, you know, you're not I, supposed I to do a bunch of things. Like, I think it's like looking up at the regular sun. I, I think it's like... Right? I mean, if you just look up at the regular ass sun and hold your eyes open, it, you're, you're, it's well, going to be problems. You're, I believe you're able to look at it better, but you're still getting But you're still getting rays, the... So yeah. yeah it's just, it's like getting a sunburn with the, when it's cloudy out. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, that, that was but smart. But this pass. is all Thank to you. say, like, I guess it would make sense that, you know, when the sun gets covered up, it basically becomes like night. And it, like this guy was like, he said, this is the... Try to do Southwest Airlines solar eclipse picture. Um, I was like, this motherfucker looks like he's in outer space. Really? Like on a regular ass plane. And I was like, if that's what it's going to look like, that's pretty. Yeah. That first picture right there. He said was from a plane. That's kind of sick. I was like, wait a minute. Unless I'm just like, right. It's a Southwest flight. 
was like, did you go to outer space in a Southwest plane? Because <laughs> it's that looks like you can see the. But I guess that's what happened on this plane. So I, maybe that's you know we're not going to see that from the from the the ground, um, but you know, damn. It's at what four o'clock? Like three fifteen. Two and four is like kind of when it starts, and then like I think three thirty something is the like peak of it all. I mean, I I, I know people like take a a hard stance one way or the other with these things. Like objectively speaking, that is a cool ass picture. That's awesome, and that would be very cool to see in real life, bro. Right? If you like, don't I think, think the like, eclipse is cool or at least intriguing? I don't know. You don't. You don't have any feelings about like. At the very least, I think it's fucking absurd that all of these things like fall into place perfectly yeah. in the universe. You know what I mean? Gravity works in this, and orbits work in such a way that everything is perfectly round and perfect the perfect distance that like it'll match up this one thing is that big the other thing is a fraction of the size and it all lines up perfectly at the very least you got you got to go huh well, that's fucking crazy <laughs> if you're like if you don't if you're against if you're anti eclipse it's like i don't know i think it's pretty fucking cool what do flat earth people think on some <laughs> stuff stuff like this <laughs> um like i i still like think it's they definitively uh, factual that the other planets are round so we're just the square one? It's a great question. <laughs> I guess like, you could like think... We can now see that all the other stuff in the sky... Well, did the, does the flat earthers think that we're square? <coughs> we think that we're flat. You flat. could theoretically okay. be a, a circle on its flat, you know, turned. So they think we're a vertical flat circle. <laughs> That that would make no sense because that's where you're like you're falling off yeah, the earth. Yeah. If you tell me the earth is flat and that we are upwards, I'd be like you'd be ah, <laughs> falling off. Um, I usually at that point they play the Bible and the God card. They say like, oh, God did that. Okay. There's usually flat earthers. I think eventually get back to wacko religion <laughs> and play the card of like there's a grand designer who just like made that happen. Okay. I think because that's their only card to play. <laughs> there's fucking nothing left. Um. All I want to say is I remember, I think, because we could probably look this up when these last eclipses were. I remember an eclipse when I was in elementary school at some point. I'm sure you guys all varying. You guys probably not. But do you remember being a kid where there's an eclipse? Very vaguely. Maybe, maybe not. Like, I'm uh, almost positive when I was in elementary school. Maybe when I was really early elementary school, so you weren't really not there yet. Like Maybe it was like first, second grade, so you were like. But they happen every few years, right? So like, I don't know. I, I That's what I can't. I don't know. I think sometimes. So I think the next one's 2026. And maybe it's just. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought, I thought this was like not going to happen for a long time. I think there's degrees of totality and all right. that. All I want to say is when you're like a little kid or you're one of these people who do the thing with the shoebox and the paper. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. you just see like a little ring on a piece of construction paper. <laughs> who the fuck gives a shit about that? Yeah. <laughs> like. If I, I kind of take... know what you're talking about. I don't completely. I, I, it's definitely there, yeah, ringing there, a there's bell. There's some way to like. You know what I'm talking about with the thing, though, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. it's like you have a box and a lens, and it just reflects it. And it's a safe way to look at it. To look at it is just like if I just took a piece of paper and drew a line. <laughs> that's all you fucking see, <laughs> right? Yeah. Unless, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm trying to like I want to basically confirm that like I did it right and did, like these fucking kids top left cl click that fucking thing these dickheads are just like holding <laughs> that up there and then all they see on their little shoe box is like a little you know a little circle and it's like that is the sun being blocked it's like great <laughs> I don't fucking care man <laughs> Look at that dickhead. <laughs> Image appears inside on white paper. Yeah, that's crazy. That sucks dick, dude. <laughs> they had us all outside looking down, being like, and they were like, there it is. And it's like, I'm sure there's a million things. It's like, you know, I don't know. If you look at the shadow of something on the ground, you're not like, look, you don't get to witness it. Yeah, you know that, I, mean? I, I don't, I, 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 again, it's it's ringing a bell. It's a vague memory. I don't remember it being that clear where you're just looking at a reflection on <laughs> paper all or a shadow on paper. And it was mad hard to put together. I remember, <laughs> like, you know, cutting and clipping. That bottom, uh, top, second row to the left. That's what it is. All the way. No, no, all the way. Like, that's what you see. You look into the box and you just see, like, a, a, a light flashing on a piece of paper. That. I could take a flashlight and just shoot it at a piece of paper and be like, that's an eclipse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking dorks. I'm just going to go out there. I'm going to like this. I'm going to fucking, I, wanna, I want something that brings all of the rays into my eyeballs. I'm going I, up on the roof for this. 
Are gonna, you, gonna, I was going to say, so cool we'll spot. be here, right? Yeah, we'll be here. There's a pretty cool spot right next to it. Like, you see the Empire State Building, and I'm thinking that it'll come right over. It'll be pretty cool. Mm, oh, I was yeah. thinking the opposite. Yeah. I was going to get out of here because I, I, th- I feel like the city was going to be lame. Yeah. And get up where there's not as know. much, like, Is that know. three? I have time. Yeah, so. Oh, that's, I know, I know, oh, I know. Yeah. I, oh. I realized I botched this, like, literally right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's bad luck. So if we miss it. It's bad luck bad to not see it. No, just to look at it. Oh. Oh. Then we'll stay away. Guess what, Jackie? It can't get much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking cares? So whatever. I'm pro I'm pro eclipse. I, I didn't even quite realize I guess there's a bunch of hardos out there. I could see myself all of these things these days, I I always pause and I think to myself, like, what would twenty ten me say? And this is definitely one of those things that I'd like write a blog being like, you fucking losers, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you dorks. And it would be funny. And I would have some truth to it and some good lines and, and like I would have fun with it. But now I'm just like, nah, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's like, like that's like kind of what I was saying with like where people take like a hard stance one way or the other. We're like, I'm not like clear my plans. I must see this, but I'd like to see it. I'm it's I'm pretty, I'm cool pretty like see. I don't want to miss this. Yeah, I will tell you that much. If we had if 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 our interview is like somehow run along, I would be like, yo, we got to end this. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. go see the, I see the clips. <laughs> there are no baseball games going on today. That's disappointing. They moved. They, they moved, moved the Yankee games. game. Really? The Yankee game. They were like, uh, it's supposed to be a two o five start. Four or five start, whatever it is, they yeah. moved it to six o'clock. Really? Uh, I I think that's a bit drastic. I think it could have been a cool moment to have like a yeah. whole stadium like react to it. Yeah. But I guess there is some fucking uh, liability. Yeah. I don't know if it was it wasn't for the players. Was it? it was for the like I think for the fans almost. I, I can't imagine you being able to pitch for that whatever. That would, span. You know when they talk about the shadows in like a day game? Yeah. Like all of a sudden it's you know the top of like the third inning and you gotta fucking deal with it's like all of a sudden it's a night game. We don't have the lights on. Like if you have to like catch the ball and look up in the air and then totally. you're just like That's hard enough as it is. Yeah. But they could maybe look at a piece of paper through a shoebox, <laughs> track the ball. So I'm, I'm for sure team eclipse. The, now the earthquake. Now okay, so you are a very pragmatic person mm-hmm. i was gonna say skeptical i would say you you dabble in skeptical it's a little bit of both yeah, yeah. no part of you was like an earthquake three days before like a celestial event no party was like that's a little weird that's a little crazy i i honestly didn't feel an earthquake at all no not even a little bit. where I, were you i was in the shower i got out of the shower and i texted my parents and did you feel was that an earthquake for you and i was like i don't know what you're talking about i think it really depends on what i mean obviously but uh, what where you are and what you're doing like I feel like if you were if I was moving and doing something in the shower yeah. I don't know if I would have felt it because there's water splashing and like you're you're moving around I was underground I didn't feel anything that's even weirder I don't you I don't think anyone right? like, yeah I don't think anyone in this area felt it. I don't think anyone at the office felt it I live right nearby and I felt it you did yeah. okay yeah. So I was gonna mine. say maybe the city is just like yeah. there's earthquakes fucking every time the train rolls through. <laughs> but I um I mean my whole house ooh that was cool. My whole house rattled. Really? I mean, like, windows, like, <laughs> and it was a solid, like, I would say a good referee three count, yeah. four count, um, to the point <laughs> that I was, like, no, you know, me, I was, like, oh, my God, like, the boiler exploded. <laughs> or the fucking air conditioning unit's going to, like, fall from the attic. I was, like, this. Bro, my dad so- was holding up the pipes, he said. <laughs> <laughs> like, he could be stronger than an earthquake. <laughs> That's that great. would be great. I would love like some ring footage. Yeah. Your dad holding it and something just <laughs> wipes the it house out. falls around him, but he's still got <laughs> the pipes up. It up. <laughs> it's like in Twister when they put a belt around that pipe. Yeah, yeah. the final scene they're just flying away. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I was like, yeah, this is something terrible happening to me and only me. <laughs> but, uh, but it's funny to to realize that like. I mean, we yeah, like your dad, like, well, I don't know, I didn't spring into any action. Everything went out the window. I was like, are you supposed to go under the doorways or not under the doorways? Yeah, yeah. Are you supposed to get into the tub or is that more dangerous? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of shit they told me, but I don't remember any of it. <laughs> uh, but I'll say this. It's like a four, 4.8, it was in Jersey. By the time it got to us, does anybody know the number? It's probably like in the threes. I don't. I don't know. Uh, probably like a three point something magnitude. Was enough to like rattle your house, like a 9.8. Those things must be fucking crazy yeah it's one thing i i, I just can't even really 4.0 after effect after show. that's pretty that's, that's more than i thought i thought the after effects would be longer uh, short, like smaller uh, like you've been in a really big rainstorm so i can 
kind of wrap my head around a hurricane. It's like this, but like really faster, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, I guess like a tsunami is pretty, you can't really understand some of those things. But like, I feel like you can, you know, you've been in windy situations. Maybe you can understand what a tornado is like. I can't, I don't get you know, it's like the ground opening up or like things coming. It's just, it is so fucking insane. I've seen San Andreas, so I get it. Pretty oh, you understand. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> Do we not actually have footage of like, I feel like you, I always see after, after pictures, but I don't, I feel like I don't see like the ground. You see like this shit like rattle, but mm-hmm. is it like the ground opening up and like eating people up? I don't think the ground ever opened. I think that's only on really bad ones. Well, that's what I wonder. That's what I mean. Is like, is it, you know, crazy? But no part of you was like, who knows? Maybe some funky's going on right now. Literally until right now. Because I mean, I, I don't know if you read Dante's blog. <laughs> uh, if we could pull that that title up one more time for us, uh, maybe we'll take turns reading it. It's so goddamn long. <laughs> but they were doing. Quite a bit of funky stuff that I'm sure was just on the schedule anyway. But, yeah, uh, God Particles, Devil Worshipping, and Rockets Aimed at the Sun, colon. NASA is doing some really strange shit on April 8th for the eclipse, period. Like firing off three rockets called, quote, the Serpent Deity into the actual eclipse, period. While the geeks in Geneva are firing up the CERN reactor, again, hoping to find the answer to, quote, dark matter. That was a headline (laughs) of a blog on... (laughs) BarstoolSports.com. <laughs> that is, that's got to be the worst blog ever written on Barstool. Some, uh, Barstool's someone uh, replied and said, "I feel like I'm reading a Dan Brown novel." <laughs> and, and Dante said, "This is the greatest uh, compliment I've ever received." There you go. And All I, checks out. I said, "Hey Dante, Dan Brown knows he's writing fiction." <laughs> 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 oh man, that's hilarious. But you know. What if they were doing like the the CERN reactor and they're doing the the centrifuge and they're trying to like time it with the solar? I don't know what any of this stuff is. Yeah, that makes sense. So like, it checks out. The what, what I what I, I in reading that I I read I can break that down to a bunch of people are doing their jobs. Mm. Mm. Like that that essentially says to me says like. John and Kevin are doing KFC radio on the day. While the, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, yeah, like the people at CERN are like, yeah, we had this scheduled like always. We do it every uh, Friday afternoon or whatever. <laughs> but I don't know. Part of me was like, I was waiting for like one of those scenes where like next up you just see a flock of all the birds flying in one direction. <laughs> like we got to get the fuck out of here. Jackie, what, where where are you at on all this stuff? Um... What, like, Are you into the eclipse? What'd you think of the earthquake? What all this? The earth. You know what I just remembered also is like one time in element or like in middle school during it was like earthquake like prevention or earthquake like drill. Oh, that's my thing out for you guys, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was two earthquakes that day. And so like that mixed with this <laughs> makes me feel like the earthquakes are like they know when to just kind of fuck with people. There it is. You know? <laughs> I mean, not actually, but. Um, What's the worst you've ever been through? Not bad. Probably no. like five, I would say. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, I I mean, I was just like in my apartment. It was actually kind of funny. Like I was in my apartment and like everyone in my apartment, like everyone on my floor stepped out and we all like were talking. Yeah. And one person just goes like, wait, why are none of us at work right now? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then they said something like, like, uh, Somebody was like, yeah, like, I can text someone from California. I was like, I mean, I'm from California. Like, that definitely felt like an earthquake. And then I became, like, the... Expert. The, like, expert. Like, the liaison. So they were like, should we go downstairs? And I was like, I don't want to be responsible. So I was like, yeah, I, everyone get downstairs. No <laughs> like, way. And I, I didn't even go downstairs, but I just sent everyone downstairs. And then I went down later to go to work, and they were all waiting down there. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> You're the best. That's so <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah. Everybody downstairs. <laughs> and then like it was so Finally, awkward. Finally, some quiet on this <laughs> floor. <laughs> so wait, they all like in that exact moment, or they all like were like, okay, let me get my stuff and I'll go downstairs. Well, because the, they kept being like, do like, should we go downstairs? I was like, I think it's fine. Like, you guys are fine. And they were like, I don't know, I'm worried. And I was like, well, I don't want to be responsible if like an aftershock happens. And like, then now I'm like the. Yeah. You know, now I let them down and killed everyone. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, get downstairs, I guess. 
And then and then I awkwardly walked by them like 20 minutes later being like, hey, yeah, I didn't go downstairs. I'm not, I'm not a fucking pussy. I'm not a fucking pussy. <laughs> so... I mean, anyways, yeah, now I like fucking am the scared. ringleader in my floor. <laughs> yeah, you're, I was gonna you're say the, you're uh... you're like the tribal chief of that floor now. You <laughs> are, you. It's like in in like a Survivor, you would be like running the show now. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's great. Yeah, everybody go downstairs. I'm I'm from California. Yeah. I know what's up. <laughs> That's amazing. There is something, and this always happens. Uh, and everybody, and then there's the reaction too. Everybody was tweeting about it, and then everyone from California is like, "Oh, you're so cute." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do it with snow when someone tweets out like, "Oh my God, there's an inch of snow," and we're like, "You guys are fucking pussies." <laughs> but there is something about the shared experience of these like things where you just you feel compelled. I mean, everybody tweets like, "Was that an earthquake?" Right, right, right. Oh, did I just feel an earthquake? <laughs> Holy shit, earthquake in New York, you know, whatever. It's you like, broke the news to me. Your tweet was yeah, like, did was it? Like, I'm underground right now. This could be an issue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's crazy that you didn't feel it underground. You'd yeah. think if anything they'd be closer, but yeah. but it's just like everybody's got to get their their shock out. Yeah. And I mean, it rattled me. T- like I'm from California, it rattled me too. No pun intended. I, I was <laughs> crazy. I was like I was like I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. Like, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, that's weird. I, I didn't even believe my parents. I mean, they're lying. <laughs> and then... I didn't feel the aftershock. There was... I got a bunch of tweets being like, did you feel that one? And I was like, no, nah, that, mm. that didn't make it to me or, or I just mm. didn't notice it. But I was like, walk, I was walking in the house and I... Again, I think like I, was, I had all my kids' bags. I was opening and slamming the door. And I was grabbing my kid and like, I don't know. I, I feel like if you're, if you're just standing still, you might feel like a wobble. But yeah, if you're yeah. doing shit, I don't even know if it'll register with you. But... um. But I don't know what it is. There, there is just a human nature thing of like, let's talk about this. Yeah, yeah. where were you? What, what happened? What happened when the when the ground mildly trembled for you? I don't know. The same fucking thing as everybody else. Like, it took three seconds, and I went. Then it was day. over. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all it is. Shay was bugging out. Shay, the first thing they were like, they didn't believe me. They were like, uh, they were like, that's not an earthquake. And I was like, bro, it's a fucking earthquake for real. And then uh, Shay was playing on my phone, and like I got the alarm like. I don't know, many, many, many minutes afterwards. Um, so I don't even know what the alarm was for. Or what I, was it saying, I don't even think I got mine till like 4 p.m. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe it was like it was crazy. later, right? Yeah. It was like later in the day. Because, yeah, by that point, we were, at, we were at Keegan, I was at practice. So she came running over to me, like this look of like panic in her face. Because she thought that meant like one was coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was absolutely terrified. I felt bad for her. <laughs> I was like, no, you idiot. We're done. <laughs> We're good. Um... So yeah, earthquake, eclipse, there's a lot going on. Oh, we got our uh, our episode with the, the two bears are out. Yes. Our, our guest bears appearance with uh, Tom and Bert, which is a nice little bucket list moment to check off for the boys. KFC Radio meets Two Bears One Cave. The uh, that was the that was I think they said the first time they've ever had two guests on mm-hmm. with the two of them, mm-hmm. which was pretty cool. Um, mm-hmm. The clip they've put out is the fellows clip, which I think is. I think I think it's arguably Bert's favorite story of all time. He loves like it. Like it's, I, I, it's to say, it's, that it's, and the it's, machine. I was gonna say it's <laughs> Bert's favorite story of all time, and he has a story that he really likes to tell. Yeah. The I'm tell, I've said it before. I think it's your machine. I think it's. I know. I know you, and I'm sure you hate telling it. And I feel like you like don't want to tell it anymore and all that. But for when people get to hear it for the first time, <laughs> it's spectacular. <laughs> that one, I Owen was in here before the show, and Owen had just watched, and I think Pavs just watched too. Mm-hmm. And they were like, you told it great. And I was like, thank God. Yes. Because Bert set it up so fucking I mean, he was high. Like, this is about to be the funniest thing you've ever heard in your whole life. <laughs> like, no, but you dude, did, though. Look at you. You're up. You're yeah. out of your seat. You're banging. Bro, you are You are on your way, bro. You are. You're like an American idol. You're going to Hollywood, bro. I'm, you have been so good the last couple of years. And I think it's just the very beginning. I think you're. You're gonna be a star, bro. <laughs> you're gonna be a star. Like you're gonna look back, and it'll be like when people talk about like your career. Barstool will be like the pre the prelude. <laughs> people will be like, oh oh, and, and he no did, shot, and he man. did, he did like a podcast before that. There was like a podcast and a couple blogs in between, like a couple a couple marketing campaign things that he made up. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. That's that. That's all going to just be like the beforehand. Dude, I'll tell you, what, that's nice to hear. It's, it's super accurate, but it's nice to hear because I'm definitely going through an age thing right now. Oh, are you? Yeah, like I, like I've just, I've just learned what age is. Mm. Like, <laughs> if this makes any sense, like, 
Like I've, like it, I love like, how you said, mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. like, like I've discovered aging. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, like, okay. Like I, I, it's hard. It's, 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 it's something I'm wrestling with. So you guys are going to be hearing a lot about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. But like, pray tell. Like I, I've, I've been. Wait, before I do this, I do want to tell one quick thing about how the night before, when we were at there, at the night Por- before at, the the podcast appearance, we were at yeah, we were at, at the at Austin Por- party, the Porosos thing, and. Before I even met Rogan, Bert was trying to get me to tell this story. I know. Where he was like, I wasn't even in the circle yet. I know. And he's like, fights, fights. Tell the, tell the, who's got SWAT? <laughs> like, it was like talking. It was the least conducive environment to telling a story. Absolutely. Possible. Also, and, you, you want to talk about bad setups. It's one thing on a podcast where you're storytelling. When, when there's a bunch of guys just like, that we were talking about like fucking MMA and, and elk and all that <laughs> yeah. all that shit. The, the conversation was already happening and someone comes in going, yo, 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 tell a story. You got and you gotta listen to it. Yeah. Okay, okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah. It's just like no fuck no thank you. I had like such a moment of sheer panic and then someone said something else and it kind of derailed us. Yeah. I was like, oh thank God. <laughs> like, I, I do not want to fucking it, it's a this good is how en- I debut myself to Joe Rogan. It's a good enough story that I think it could even overcome all of that bad setup. But golly, it is a he he did you dirty on yeah. that one. He was he was ready to just like it because in his head he's like this is gonna be great it's gonna be great. I think Joe would have been like cool man yeah okay. right right. So have you ever hunted elk? You know yeah. it would have just gone right back to what he's talking about. Um, but <laughs> the so I've been rewatching Friday Night Lights. We talked about this uh, Texas Forever a little bit I think, and uh, which is fun. One funny thing I noticed in Friday Night Lights. Do you know what actor has arguably had the second most successful career? Out of Friday Night Lights, one is Jesse Plemons. Yeah. Um, La- is that Landry? Well, Kyle Chandler. That's Landry. Yeah. Up there, too, right? Kyle Chandler's up there, um, but I think there's an art. Kyle, Kyle Chandler's probably three. Kitch is probably four. Michael B. Jordan's also probably Oh, one. Michael B. Yeah, Jordan's yeah, in there. Michael B. Jordan's probably two. Kyle, Connie Britton. Connie Britton's in there, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was going to say Matt The drummer Harrison. of Crucifixorious is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the drummer of Crucifixorious is... I forget his name, but he's the brother in Get Out. Um, oh. he's the son in American Made. He's he's had a great career. That guy yep. right there. Yeah, I knew mm. he was a three namer. Wow. He's got a crazy Florida project. I mean, I wouldn't say a great career, dude. Oh, oh, three billboards. I forgot he's awesome in three billboards. Um, No Country for Old Men. Are, does he have like major roles in these? In three billboards, yes. In American Made, yes. In Get Out, yes. I think I think those three right there give you. Mm-hmm. You don't beat Michael B. Jordan. I forgot about him, but oh oh. Speaking of Michael B. Jordan, I, I'm gonna stop talking about Friday Nights. But the um, <laughs> in there, in, in, there's a scene where he's talking to Coach Taylor, and he's talking about how his his life and stuff like that. And he's like, he's like, since I started high school, I've had three of my friends shot and killed on the way to school, and I was like, what a what a funny thing that the first three seasons of during the first three seasons of Friday Night Lights, the high schoolers across town are getting murdered at an amazing rate, and it never comes and up. Nobody cares. <laughs> like, like an incredible. Didn't even break the news. Town, yeah. Three separate high schoolers were <laughs> shot to death on their way to school. Someone bring it up at some point. <laughs> um, not, no, not, not the Panthers, man. They were focused. <laughs> but Gary didn't give a shit about those kids. <laughs> In saying, I'm saying it's all to say. If, if before I restarted rewatching Friday Night Lights, I would have said Taylor Kitsch, that guy doesn't fucking age at all. He's he doesn't he doesn't age a day. And then I started Friday Night Lights, and I was like, he looks like a kid. <laughs> he ages, and, bro. He ages. And I was like, wait, if he's aged, that means I've aged. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> I know none of this makes sense, but it also makes perfect sense. Yeah. Like. I'm going. I'm going through something right now. So we're all just gonna have to go through it with me. <laughs> all right, let's Dude, join the club. Up. I've like, been on this. <laughs> like I, I was just reading. Oh, I was reading JB Smoove in GQ this morning, mm-hmm. and it was again. This all connects to you being like, oh, you're second act, whatever. When he was like, it was like JB Smoove didn't find his career until he was forty, and I was like, he didn't find his career until forty. I'm almost forty. That's crazy for him. And I was like, wait, I found my career, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. You, ha- you haven't even found your career. You haven't well, even found your career. Well, I definitively have. No, I don't think you have. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know that. By 40, you could be doing something else that makes you be like, well, that's Barstool's where I got my start. <laughs> it is kind of crazy to think that, though. Like, 
Like there are times where I compare myself. Uh, I remember comparing myself to Craig Carton. Uh, uh, not not really Bert. I don't compare myself to Bert because we're not stand-up comedians. But like I've just watched his career. We've talked about work and all that shit. And he's like considerably older than us. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And and like and Craig with with sports radio was was always cool to Barstool and like put us on and would have us on the show and kind of treated me like a contemporary rather than like a fan and like on the come up, you know, and but he's, you know, also considerably older. Like yeah. we're talking like, you know, a couple decades older. <laughs> and it's like there's so much that can go on in between that time period from now to when I'm their age and all of us. And it's like who fucking yeah. knows? Like Good or what, bad. 52? I think so. So like I have my entire career to go again before he before you reach where he's at right now, yeah. <laughs> and and you know he's been he's been pretty good, pretty you know really good for like what five six seven, whatever years now. But up until then, it was a grind, and it was like oh he's been on some TV and you're yeah. successful, sort of like like Barstool is like we're successful, but no one would be like oh my god, right? So maybe that's, I mean, you know obviously I'm a little bit tongue in cheek because Barstool is is what it is, but the way Bert. And even Leanne was talking about like those travel channel gigs. Bert was like, "This is what I do to make money. This yeah. is how I pay my bills. This is my career." And then it is definitively not his career. <laughs> he reached a point where it was like, "That is my throwaway part." You yeah, know, yeah. you never know. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Barstool will ever be a, a throwaway part because it's just so different and unique and and popular in its own right. But if you make it to a certain level. When you're winning Oscars, John. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Could happen. <laughs> um, I mean, you look around and it's like anything's possible. Like, like Billy Football might be a congressman for all I know. <laughs> Billy for, Football. For, for all I know, Billy Billy Football is starting his second act, or maybe his first act, and apparently he's a politician. I I don't know if it helps him or hurts him that he looks so much like a Pixar villain. <laughs> 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 like, like it's the, <laughs> it's, the, it's like the he kind of has like dark eyes, but like like he's and, got and the, he's, he's got slicked a big, over a big jaw. Mm -hmm. Like it's I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call it a strong jaw. It's not a weak jaw either, but it's just big. Don't like, don't say he's got a weak jaw. Yeah, no, it's not a weak. But like, <laughs> it's, the, it. it's it's this. It's the it's the. <laughs> yeah. He's got a very like Joker face almost yeah. there with a big with a big jaw uh, a big uh, what's this called a big chin underneath. <laughs> I forget. It's it's not it's not in, like when you talk when you meet him, it do, he doesn't come off looking like that, and in most videos he doesn't look like that. But like, nah, he's a villain. That he looks like a like he looks like the the prince in 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 Shrek, where he's just got that huge fucking like. Mm -hmm. It's just like a I don't know. It does. It, you know what you what you're describing is like uh, predatory white males. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're they're everywhere. This is what they this is what they do. <laughs> He's it's, got see, like but a, he's got like a strong jaw. Again, I'm not saying Billy has a weak jaw, but it, Billy's is just like it's girthy. It's got. <laughs> you know, he, it's just there's a lot of meat to it. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean. Rather than angular, I see what you mean. Yeah. I when Billy when Billy Congress started this, I was like, this is so dumb. This is like, this is so stupid. I think this is a dumb gimmick. Like, what are we doing here? You know. And. uh and then I saw that appearance with uh, Martha, was her name or whatever? Miranda, whoever on Fox News. Martha, Bro. Martha McCallum. I mean, Billy was spitting. Billy was good. Billy was spitting. As far <laughs> as, I will say this. I don't think anything, you know, I, I don't know if there was any question. I don't know that he came forward with anything that's going to solve the world. Right. I don't know if anything was, you know, that, uh, that much substance. But he spoke... As well or better than any politician in those spots, yeah. sitting at those desks on these shows on those channels, he sounded just like any other lifelong politician who was like getting votes and and winning elections. He and she was trying to go at him. She yeah. was trying to catch him in a lie or like fuck him up with the with the um, paperwork, which like he he was right. He had that done. And he might have a small mouth. That might be. What <laughs> It is. You know what it looks like? Wait, wait, wait. You know what it looks like? It, it looks like when you, like, um, dub a mouth over somebody else. Yeah, like, yeah, It looks yeah. like he has a fake mouth that's photoshopped in there to do almost like a filter. 
Yeah. Look at that thing. When he talks, it, yeah. it looks like this little thing just moving along, right? That, yeah, yeah. that looks like a they put it on a canvas of someone else's face. They erased their their mouth and just put his tiny little villain mouth on there. <laughs> um, but you're right. You're right about how he, he came across good and all that. And I wonder, does that make you feel like, holy shit. And, 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 I, and Billy is not a dumb person by any stretch of the imagination. Billy's a smart kid, all that stuff. But does it make you feel like, like, damn, Billy can go up there and everyone goes, holy shit, that was pretty good. And 90% of the people can't do 99. that. 99. <laughs> right? so nine, nine, nine. Does that make you like, why the fuck isn't anyone smart doing this? I like, know. I Billy, know. Billy, not a genius, but not a dumb person at all. I mean, it's so, a little bit funny. Like, prior to this, if you ask me, is Billy Football a smart person? Like, in the... In the binary world of Barstool, like, there's the smart people and the dumb people. Yes. He's on our side of the dumb people. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? We're not putting him out there with, uh, I don't know, PFT or something. <laughs> but now I'm like, he might be the leader of the smart people. <laughs> but like, like, are... like, like, like this, is the, this is the same guy who, like, would come on Barstool Radio and argue about bar Barstool basketball and, like, sound like a buffoon and not make any sense <laughs> and, like, talk in circles or not have a good argument. I'm like, what the – which one of you is the – I don't know. We got an Adderall that that day, Billy, yeah. or or are you just dumbing it down for us? I, something something's got to give. Something's different because those two versions of Billy, you know, <laughs> it's just hilarious to think about him like crying in the back seat of his car about African football. <laughs> he tries so hard, <laughs> and they the rats remember they believe. And now he's like, and, and what is funny, you know. And I guess I don't know what the what the proper way to do it is, but like you know, Billy's platform is like. No taxes, uh, but like, you know, public reform and civil works and universal this and universal that, but no taxes and no government Wait, intervention, his, his but we protect every people. No taxes? No, but I'm saying a lot of it is like, you know, we want lower taxes, but we want, you know, better uh, infrastructure. Well, well, let's do things don't go in. <laughs> and we want, you know, universal this, but we don't want to pay for it. And, you know, a lot of it is, is, but that's what politicians do. Right. So it's like, uh, at the very least, you're playing the game just as good. As all these other cats are, I don't know what's next. <laughs> like, what is the election I, next? Does he have another? I, I think as much hope as we all have for this, I think it's like, like he gets cut out. Yeah, like I, well, I think well, the, well. Before. The Long Island Republican Party, I think, is from what I hear, and some of this is from Billy. Uh, like the Republican Party on the Long Island is, is very strong. And yeah, yeah. They don't like wasn't people who are kind of making it a joke. I, I've heard from other people, not Billy, where it's like they'll they'll kill him before they let him <laughs> win this. Like, <laughs> Wasn't um, where's George Santos from? It's Bill, right. This is right. Billy's running for his seat. Right. So like, yeah, I guess it's that's not good. That's, that's, a, serious. that's a great point, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the only other Long Island politician I know is him, yeah. and he's a fucking literal clown. That's an extraordinary lying good point. clown. <laughs> I'm I'm okay. So if you really want to break it down now. Uh, if yeah, bro, how if you genuinely strong me, is the Republican Party on Long Island if a gay Brazilian infiltrated it? Right. <laughs> right? Or I don't know if he's Brazilian, uh, but he a gay, well, we don't gay, know if he's anything, John. He's we don't know if he's gay. We don't know if he's straight. We don't know if he's white. We don't know if he's Brazilian. We don't know if he if he has parents or if they're dead. We don't know if they died in World War II or died in 9/11. We don't we don't know if he if he was in the club that night that got shot up. We don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> but the, if you uh, ask me straight up right now, we're starting. KFC Radioville, right? And and you only have two choices between two people to run it, George Santos or Billy Football. I'm picking Billy Football. Yeah, I'm taking Billy. So at the very least, he's better than this fucking Jamoke. The the uh, other thing I was thinking about with this is I know people draw a lot of parallels between me and Jackie, and they're all pretty accurate. I see a Jackie. lot between Jackie and Billy, too. Mm. So I can see Jackie falling in something like this. Mm. <laughs> Congresswoman Jackie? Yeah. Ah, it'd be like Veep. She'd be like Selena Meyer. <laughs> I could see her being like, where the fuck were you on that one? <laughs> I, I mean, I can't, like, I just realized, like, I've just never been good at, like, forming sentences. Sentences, so. yeah. yeah. So but I like, would have said that about Billy, Jackie. Yeah, yeah. You're good at forming, like, you're, this is, again, the same thing with, like, what you were just saying with, like, the binary world of Barcelona, where it's a smart and not smart. I, I hate to break the fourth wall here. Like, everyone here is pretty fucking smart. Yeah. Like, there's, there are a few Well, no, people. but I would say, like, in the, in the grand scheme of, like, the world, 
we're smart people. Comparatively speaking, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. no, no one here is a genius, but like yeah. everyone here at least has a good balance of smarts and street smarts. Not yeah. everyone, but 99% of the people here right. have a right. good a, – a, a passable – Real world balance sure. of intelligence. Yeah, there's there. Definitely, I, I agree with that. And and Jackie, you're in that crew. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, mm-hmm. I'll take it. But like, I don't we were me and her were gossiping the other day, and and I was like, this dumb bitch, and she was like. Now I can't say that because that's a little bit of, a, of the, the pot calling the kettle black. But <laughs> she is pretty fucking dumb. No, Jackie, that person was way dumber than you. I don't know about that. But <laughs> well, I'll if you're not gonna it. have any confidence, yeah, no, 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 no then no, I'll just no, call no. you a dumb bitch too. No, okay, actually, so, so true. true. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> um, Jackie played her first soccer game this this. Uh, oh, did you this weekend? D- yeah, I mean, there, again, there's not much to report there, but it it's like a rec league, right? And I men and women. Yeah, but mm-hmm. there was so there was like there has to be minimum two girls on the right. field at all time, and like I was the only one, so we had to like I had to play the whole time. I am so exhausted. I'm Dude, so Dude, that's sore. tough. Yeah, it was. Wait, so you play the whole time? Yeah, because they have and a- I scored a goal. Bro, Yo, what are you talking, talking about? Yeah. There's nothing to report. I mean, like a, you know, I don't care. I don't know how much people care about that, but it was crazy. Like, Where, well, what was like the situation? Uh, somebody passed me the ball and then I shot and then I scored. Hell yeah! How how, <laughs> how, how deep are we talking? Where where on the field were you? Like pr- I was I was pretty close to the goal. Like it it kind of made uh, I was I don't know. It was like a short field. Did, too. did you have a celebration? Um, it's like I didn't know anyone on the team. It was my first time, so I kind of was like, I don't know. Did like, they all know all each other? And you're the odd man out. Yeah, they uh, all kind of were like, so what are you? This is doing? like when you went on your your hiking club. Trip. Well, also, yeah, also, like, I had two friends who said that they were going to join, and they just never signed up. Mm, so bitches. then I was like, but anyways, but yeah, but I also, like, realized how bad it was. Remembered how, like, I forgot how bad it was. Oh, you didn't have fun? No, I, I, it, like, I had fun, but I just, like, I suck. Oh, how bad you are. Yeah, how uh, bad uh, I was. Well, you were, you know, a superstar on 12 and under. I thought, exactly. I thought you had said you were on the bench the whole time. Well, I, like, like growing up, I was on the bench all the time. Oh, oh, oh. I thought, I, okay. Well, I, after nine. Like, when I was nine, I was clearly the star player. <laughs> but then, um, yeah. I think it's so funny. And still to this day, like, if, if you have to pick out the biggest examples of sexism in the world today, it's these rec leagues that say you always have to have two women on the field. <laughs> they well, all have that rule. Every team, you got to weigh yourself down with at least two broads. Yeah. And, and they got to be on the field at all moments, so you can't hide them neither. You got to play these chicks because they stink. It's crazy. Well, so I was the only one, so we had to play with one player down because we had, it was mostly men. And, and, not, not and you're doing, so you did like two, do they do like 45 minute halves? Hey, no, it was like 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, ahead. Yeah, go for it. Hello? Okay, uh, I'm not home, so uh, could they leave it at the door? No. No, there's no way. I love this when people call in the middle of the work day and they're like, you're not home? No, I have a job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll be at work tomorrow too, though. So is there somewhere I can pick it up, I guess? Dude, she's giving me attitude. She's of course like, she is. They all do that, and it's like... The same way you are working right now <laughs> is when other people work. She like she was like, "What do you like?" She's like, "Is there a way he can get into your apartment?" No, no, There's no way he can get into my apartment. What are you talking? And about? And if I could, I wouldn't let him <laughs> do that. How about we do this? Uh, how about you get in the fucking call center at you know Saturday at two p.m. You're not going to do that, are you? Because that's the fucking weekend. That does. Mean- <laughs> These are work hours. I don't understand how anyone like, does anything. Like I, 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 I like, <laughs> like everything I need. Like I have to be home for. Like or or what? What is, is this? It? What spouses what, what, for? What, what, what's what's? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that would be a great. I gotta get married because I can't get my mail. I, I, I can't get any mail, so I gotta go find a chick who will just stay at home for my packages. I've, I've had that with like trying to get blinds set up. Like we can come by like Tuesday at noon. I'm like, well, what the fuck do you think I'm doing Tuesday at noon? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a day off from work so I can get blinds. That's, that's I, honestly, I think what people do, yeah. That's, that's what, what, crazy. Also, when it's a delivery, it's like, what? Are, what are you delivering? The nuclear secrets? Just fucking Dude, leave it by the door and a, get the it's fuck a out of there. Pair of Birkenstocks. Like, yeah. just leave them at the door. If they get stolen. They get stolen. <laughs> they get stolen right. <laughs> yeah. It's like you know, let them let them steal it. Don't she, fucking care. She she act, like when I said, can you just leave it at the door? She acted like it was. I was getting. Bricks of gold. Wood. <laughs> right. She's like, ah, no, you can't just leave them at the door. 
Okay. Well, then I, it's I, then <laughs> you decide. Flip a coin. I don't know. Do whatever you want to do. Put them on your feet. Who cares? Um, sorry about that. Anyway, Jackie's the superstar uh, on on the soccer field. Did you play? Is it a full game? No, it's like I I think it's like twenty five minute halves. But still, if you're running around for fifty fucking minutes, yeah, it was it was. Were you gassed? So, I was so gassed. I like, and then I'd be throwing. And then up. I realized, like, I really am getting old. Like, I was having back spasms. Like, yeah, it's not. Well, chill. you know my rule. What? Like, you you're still young enough that you could technically do it. But I, when you're thirty, sports are over. Yeah. That's so you true. still have many good years. But like, there's a you know semi decent chance you roll in this summer being like I tore my ACL. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I Especially know. Especially if you're playing 50 minutes a game. I kind of think that. And I'm so scared of my nose job. Like, I'm thinking about it all the time. Mm-hmm. It's, like I, it's so not worth it, an environment that's not worth it to risk the nose job. I don't know. Wait, so Anyways. is this the first time you're playing with your new nose and your new tits? Um, No, I mean, I played with my new tits for a while. Oh, okay. But new nose, yeah. When'd new nose, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Doing the math in my head. like. Wait, um, <laughs> what else do you have today? Because uh, Jackie said she wrote down some topics. Today. Mm. No, no, no. I was just saying, like, if we if we need stuff to report, like, I have like voicemail esque thoughts. Yeah. But, like, no. Yeah. Okay. Give I them mean. To us. Um. Okay. Well, I guess. Okay. Speaking of age, this is kind of one. So if you could choose, an age, you have to flip flop between like. So it's a, if it's like seventeen, you flip flop between seventeen and seventy one, mm, and you can like flip flop at any point. And you have like. So what age do you think is the best? And I think it's 25. So you go 25, 52. F- yeah, 25, 52. Back and forth. But then 24 is... Again, I didn't say that any of these were like riveting no, thoughts. No, no. This is a great question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we're just going to throw out like you can't be like 33. So I stay 33 forever. Yeah, right? exactly. It's got to yeah, be two yeah. different numbers. It's got to be two different numbers. I would say... Unless, I mean, like, I guess that could be a choice. Nah. Yeah, no. It's a pretty lame one. Yeah. Uh, 25 is definitely great. Yeah. twenty Between 20... 23 to, 20. to 27 was the most fun I've ever had. But the reverse of those. You might be right, Jack. Yeah. Because 30s and 40s objectively suck. If you're doing either the conventional way, it sucks. And if you're unconventional, it's like it doesn't suck as bad as the people with families and shit. But they're all doing that stuff. So you kind of like lose that lifestyle anyway. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, I think 32 and 23 is a contender, but it's like there's not much that like, I don't. Yeah, no, I, want, I want some no. old. Baby. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. I want some, like, then you're not. Then you're not. Ben- like the benefit of this is that you get to live like a little bit of both. Right. If you're 30, like the difference between 23 and 32 is was yeah, very drastic for me, but not like. I was going to say, for me, like, if, yeah, if for you're you, city same. living, 23 and 32 is, like, the same. Yeah. You're but, not hanging out with 23-year-olds at 32, but you're not doing something that's all that that's different. That's that crazy. Than, well, like, except, like, my 32 was, like, I had kids and shit, so I would just never pick to go to 32. I would just stay on 23 yeah. all the time. But, like, I want to – I they say? It's like uh, – like, how they say, like, 50 is a new 30 or whatever. Like, yeah. Like, city 30 is suburban 20. Right. Kind of whatever. Right. That so it's all – you're still going to bars. You're yeah. still going out. Uh, it's like I think by by the time you get back to your fifties, you have come back around. If you have kids, you, they're a little bit older. You have money in your pocket. You're on to your second career. <laughs> uh, so I would say either twenty five or twenty six, because sixties is almost the same mm-hmm. thing, just a little bit more. It depends on if you're if you're going to be good in your sixties or or like break breaking down in your sixties. Right. If you're going to be healthy sixties, I think you become like the fun old guy, and you almost get to. Ironically enough, if you do the twenty, like, like let's do twenty six and sixty two, you can hang out with each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like the you know like finding that gap is like if you're at the party, it's like hey, like Uncle whoever is gonna come over and like do a celebrity shot and beer pong, and he's like tells you a story, and then you like go smoke a cigar and pass out. Yeah. You don't hang out with him and be the weird guy, but you're the guy who's like I could still run with the young bucks if I wanted to, yeah, needed yeah. to, whatever. Dude, uh, I, I was I hung out with my dad this weekend and he's like sixty two ish. So like I would probably go twenty six, sixty two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Genetically speaking, that's probably where I'm gonna be at in my sixties. You're gonna be great, man. The, got great genetics. So I would like to have that that the that in the sixties beats hanging out with my dad in the sixties beats hanging out with my dad in the fifties. Yeah? You like it like he's he's different, he's better? Not really, but it's just like yeah. I'm older, so it's yeah. like I have more fun with it. Yep. But yep. there there was not that there was ever a bad time hanging out like that, but like we were we went to the cellar. We had fun. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah it's great. Went to the cellar. I feel like you're more inclined when you get older. You're like 
when you're younger, you're like, I'm gonna hang out with my friends. When you're older, you're like, let me hang out with my dad. Yeah. And see what, <laughs> see what, like, see what I can get from that. Dude, he he. This is constant updates about my grandfather here. The uh, <laughs> still he, kicking, huh? He's well. I, my dad is now. You know, how I was just saying I'm struggling with an age thing. Yeah. My dad's struggling with his dad's dying, oh, yeah. and he was not not like. He like not like visibly like he doesn't realize it, but I'm right. like you're doing this because mm-hmm. you know, like like he just like t- I like, called me he's like I'm coming out of New York this weekend. I was like okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I was like trying to put things together like to do, and so I, t- I texted Sam Morrill because I saw he was on the lineup for the seller, and I was like, Yo, can you get us on the list? My dad's in town. That's all I said, and he's like, Yeah, of course. Sam knows nothing about what's happening. First. Ten minutes of Sam said just about your dying grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you? Did you? Did you like? Like look at your dad? Like no, no, you no. Head straight ahead, just <laughs> like it was, were you like cackling, laughing? Oh yeah. I was, ah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not even Sam was just about dying at old and stuff like that. He, he was just talking about how it, I, I think he's about how like people say have kids because you want to not die alone. And he was just mm-hmm. talking about how it doesn't fucking matter. You're dying alone. Mm-hmm. And all, all that mm-hmm. stuff. And I was like, this is, I, I came, I, I texted Sam after, and I was like, I was like I'm not, I'm not going to tell you this over text, but I cannot wait to tell you about your set. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I see you. <laughs> um, but it was, it was, it uh, was, I, I don't want to talk about it because it's all Sam's material, but it was so fucking yeah, funny. He's a killer, man. He's such a good, <laughs> he's such a good comic. W- would you consider. I was thinking about my teenage years in this because I, I do think my favorite time in life was that 23 to 27 post-college. But there is something about like the early, early years that I also love as well. Would you do like a – but then you like you can't do like 12. Yeah. Because 12 and 21 is like, weird, no. you know. But I do remi- – like, like Little League baseball years are like some of my funnest, fondest memories as a little kid. I wish I could like get a little taste of that. But then in order to do that, you got to – like thirteen, you can't. I guess you can't even go young enough. Or how about? But can, also, can you, do zero? you have the knowledge. How about zero and eight brain? and eighty? Like if you flip my brain back to playing t ball, I'd be you like, probably this sucks. Fuck this. Yeah, dude. that's true. That's true. This sucks. Yeah, <laughs> get me the fuck out of. No, but I think I think you could make that argument for everything. No, if we're playing this game, I think if you keep the same brain, like a lot of it is. But no, because like cause even when you're mid twenties, there are your nights where you're like, I just want to have a glass of wine and smoke. And you can do that in your fifties if you're swapping, swapping. But like, so if if you flipped from your like fifty five year old body to your twenty five year old body, would you then be like, you think you'd be like, oh, I got like my young body back, like I'm gonna get fucked up? Or you think in your brain you'd be like, I'm over partying? Like it's like uh, part of it is but your you body slows 25. down. Your twenty five year old flip into fifty, so you would have a twenty five year old brain. Okay, okay. So if you chose 52 so 25, and you flipped to 25, then you have a 52 year old brain. Right. Right. I was pick. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm just my point being that like you could give me a really like good body right now, and like no hangovers and stuff, and I still think part of me is like I don't want to stand at the bar all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my brain, you right. know. But if I went back to just, I think you should just you just get to go back to that time of your life. Yeah. Okay. That makes Cause sense. Because then you know it's like then you could just be like. But I don't know, even Little League Baseball, I enjoyed it, but it's like looking back on it is what I, I'm like, man, I didn't have a care in the world. Yeah. I was just worried about like, you know, hitting dingers or so. Dude, did I tell you, I've told this story recently a couple times. Um, I don't think I told it on the podcast. Did I ever tell you about my buddy when I was at FSU who got offered to go back to high school? What? I don't think so. Dude, so. I, I, you told this story. I told, but I didn't tell it on the show, did I? I don't think, I don't so. think so. No. I don't know it. So I forget why this came up recently, but I was, ta- I was talking about it. My sophomore year of college at FSU, I had a buddy who, my roommate, was in great shape, good-looking kid, all this stuff. And I guess he was at a Walmart. In, we lived right on the border of Georgia in Tallahassee. Not mm-hmm. right on the border, but like 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Um, and sometimes we would go to Georgia to get 40s because Florida didn't sell 40s. And he'd gone into Georgia to get 40s, and some dude came up to him in a parking lot, and he worked for the state. And he handed him the business card, this whole thing, and he's like, "He's like, you can, you, you can look like a high schooler still." And wait, he was like, you what? <laughs> he's "I was like, about to say this is like Twenty One Jump Street, huh?" Kind is of. Is that yeah. what this is? Kind of, it's very similar. Get so, the fuck out. He was like, he was like, he's like, yeah, thanks, man. 
And he goes, you know, I work for the state. We were doing this study on because at the time, and I don't know if it still exists, corporal punishment was legal in Georgia. So there were some schools where still hitting kids, he'll still hitting kids. So what the offer was to my buddy is, you go back to school, you go back to high school, undercover. How young did your son, your buddy look? Not that. I mean, okay, we were only sophomores and not college, so we weren't yeah, that far. Yeah, I guess removed. so. Right, right. right. Um, and um, and. He was like, you go back, just live life as a high schooler. They were going to pay him some ab- exorbitant sum of the time. It, was like, it might have been like 100 grand a year. Like yeah, was, yeah. You, you know, you're fucking 19, 20, you hear that? You're like, what? Like, all right, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll retire, sure. Yeah, yeah. And he came back to, sc- to our apartment, and he's telling me about it. And he's like, I think I'm going to do it. I was like, you think you could do it? You're going you're gonna to forego your sophomore year of college to go to school and get this shit kicked out of you? <laughs> <laughs> and and he, he was like, he's like, bro, but I could give those fucking high school kids what for in basketball again. <laughs> and I was like, that's a good point. <laughs> Never mind, dude. He's like, it's always out there. You can keep the hundred grand. Dude. Yeah, yeah, Let me yeah, go yeah. drop fucking twenty and right. ten every you get night. To, you get to play high school sports again as a grown man, or at least a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's the bro. I used to pl- as a, like a kid when I would like play like in my imagination. It was always like Twenty One Jump Street type yeah. scenarios. <laughs> um, I'm I'm actually like a like a detective kid. What's up? Well, that so that actually it, reminds me of like another thought I have with this question is maybe you choose like seventeen. So then you go between 17 and 71 and like 71, you just, you buy all the alcohol for everyone. You're just like, one second, I'll just change my 71 year old body, buy alcohol, become like the queen of high school. And then, or like, and then also like you can make a decision and then, or like do something stupid and confer with your 71 year old self and be like, is this going to be a dumb decision? Cause your brain is more developed then you know, flip between that. Like, just, you could be very selective about it. Or it's like, when you want to buy something, you just, obviously, you're going to have more money at 71. Mm-hmm. So you just, you're, like, you be more selective about it, but you could, like, just really use it to be the coolest, best 17-year-old ever. You're not, you're definitely not wrong about that. Yeah. That's a, a, another great line of thinking. But you're kind of, like, with 17 and 71, you're skipping all the good years. Yeah, that's like, so true. That's like so true. seventy your, might be like you're in your seventies, it's rough. Yeah, you don't you don't ever get a taste of the good life at seventeen and seventy one. You might have fun at those ages, but like you get you get like like young kid fun, and like I have grandkids. Right. <laughs> Maybe sixteen. Sixteen would be good. Sixty one. Sixteen to sixty one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, do you, so in your teenage years, you're picking like your basically child years, and you know, old. Yeah. Well, but I guess 15, 51, 14, 41. Too young. I agree. Like, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't look back and like fondly bro, I wasn't, love I didn't hit grade. puberty 14 and 15. I don't think I hit puberty. I was, was going to say, I don't think you hit puberty 41. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I I really do, I think the answer might be that 25, 26 area. Yeah, you kind of nailed it right away. Yeah. yeah. What else you got? Um. Okay, so like monkeys are <laughs> oh, pretty yeah. like... They're developing, like, I feel like pretty... They're just kind of on our heels, evolutionary Call your uncle. Wise. I, I was going to say, Call I got to get you on the horn of my uncle. What? John's oh, uncle. yeah, 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 yeah. Just have, he, did, he just actually... What was the latest one? It was like well, a month ago. Oh, the latest one. No, the latest one was like two days ago. Oh. Uh, there was one that... So John has an uncle who's obsessed with the idea of, like, monkeys and evolution and how, like Jackie says, they're, like, on our heels and basically ready to, like, take back the planet or take over the planet. And... uh and he texts John of all people. Like, if this was my uncle, I'd talk back. I'd be like, oh, word? Like, <laughs> tell me why. What's up with the DNA? I want to know why this is happening. Like, uh, you know, what are we doing to defend it? This is so interesting. And John is always like, cool, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> Thursday at 2.19 p.m. Oh, my. Tech dot, 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 dot. <laughs> The, uh, a Daily Mail article <laughs> inside the sordid world of monkey torture. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was like doing it this frequently. It's it's bro. It's, How uh, many texts do you think you have? Okay, this one's from Friday, March eighth. Dude, they're totally prepping for the invasion. Um, and and wait, nothing in between. Uh, this the, I've had a little more regular stuff. My grandfather's dying. Sure. <laughs> but like, if that wasn't happening, would, uh, would it just be like? Monkey, two weeks later, monkey. Mo- Ten monkey days later, monkey. Monkey and tech stuff. Tech. Oh, you love him. You love I him. would <laughs> love him. You're like, we're talking AI and monkeys? Let's go. <laughs> um, like, he, but he also, like, he doesn't, 
He sent me the video of the guy of like video of man wearing Apple Vision Pro prompts reminder police cro- to cross the street the old fashioned way. Um, this is one. Uh, no surprise here, but glad to have it affirmed. No joke. Apes have a sense of humor just like humans. <laughs> um, uh, this is Sunday. Uh, Robo taxis going self emulation. Waymo Robo Taxi set on fire in San Francisco's Chinatown. Uh, here we go. The people have risen up. <laughs> NYPD ditches its twelve thousand five hundred dollars Times Square subway police robot after only four months. Yeah, I mean this guy. He's like. Uh, no wonder why they loathe us. Strained brain trip implanted into monkeys to stop them taking risks. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected twist. Hiring in China. Monkey King wanted. Perks include <laughs> Monkey one. King wanted. But wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you this: Is there a? Did something happen that made him like anti-monkey? Uh, no, he's pro monkey. Pro monkey. Yeah, he's okay, saying okay. because of what we're doing to them, they're gonna come for us. Okay. Yeah. Scared yeah. of monkeys. Uh, so did anything happen there? And then two, did something happen where he thinks that you are interested in this? Uh, I respond to everything, but it's just like ha ha ha. Yeah, like it's because like because like when I was this one's monkey headline of the day, dancing monkey kept on leads found to have disturbing levels of constant stress. <laughs> <laughs> They're stressing the monkeys out. When I was like eight years old, my aunt was always the aunt we went to for Easter. This aunt would make uh, baked honey, honey baked ham or whatever. And she would put, she would garnish it with pineapple rings. And like one time when I was eight years old, I like took a bite of the pineapple and I was like, mm, that's good, that's good pineapple, I love it. And she shoved pineapple down my gullet <laughs> until the day she died. Being like, you love pineapple, right? Like, cu- like everything was pineapple flavored or garnished or just like buckets of pineapple. And I just had to fucking eat it because of this one time. I feel oh, like somewhere. Tuna. Uh, <laughs> I feel like somewhere along the line you said something about monkeys. I, I, I and he's imagine. like, I got to text John about the monkeys. Yeah. John, you like monkeys, right? You, you know the power of monkeys, right? It, I mean, like, I don't disagree with him. Like, we shouldn't be doing to monkeys what we're doing. Like, they got to be getting pissed about just being used as torture all the time. I would have to. I would have to think. <laughs> well, so uh, well, what do you think, Jack? Well, here's my thought is, um, okay, so, like, also, so alcohol is just fermented, what? I'm trying to get past it. Oh. Alcohol is, like, fermented fruit, basically. Mm-hmm. So, eventually, they're going to discover alcohol and at that point what what is the world looking like once monkeys are getting drunk monkeys drunk, discovered alcohol dog drunk monkeys they have oh yeah but okay yeah. so then my thought also is like i you think ever that, seen that monkeys sorry to interrupt the, no. uh, the monkeys down in the caribbean put in the video of the drunk monkeys this is a great old oh well, yeah it's already like, like <laughs> yeah they, these monkeys they'll steal your drink <coughs> they get hammered they fall out of their trees mm, and shit that's right. yeah <laughs> yep well so i kind of think that that's like the cure to planet of the apes is like we just crack a few beers with the monkeys. Mm-hmm. Here and they then... go. This is classic, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is an old school interview. I remember this, yeah. Where is this Fiji? They just love, <laughs> they just fucking love booze. <laughs> Can you watch this? Come on. <laughs> this is so good. The way, they, the way they scurry away with it is great. Wait, rewind so she gets to see one of those good yeah. ones. <laughs> Wait, watch, watch him grab it and run away. It's great. <laughs> That's not mine. a spill, not a drop spill. Dude. I know, he's a pro. Look at that. <laughs> got his baby in tow with him. Like, we're going to go get fucked up, kiddo. Yeah. Um, this is awesome. Okay, so they're already. Now, I, these are little spider monkeys on the beach. I don't know if, like, gorillas are. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think there's a difference between, like, stealing cocktails and gorillas figuring out how to ferment alcohol so i do think i know what you're talking about jack yeah like the day that that gorillas are like okay here's like i gotta take care of my kid we gotta hunt we gotta get some food also like let me go leave the fruit in the sun under the you know whatever so that we can get booze going yeah i think that that stops planet of the apes and then we just like we're just like chill as hell with them are you saying and I'm, you better be careful. This guy's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jackie, come here. This, this looks like Jackie on TikTok. They wouldn't let me in one bar. Well, they denied you know. me from every bar. I was right so here, Jack. <laughs> Wait, this guy. He's the one. He's just hammered. 
He's like wobble and stumbling. <laughs> <laughs> Truck monkey. <laughs> so good. B, are you saying that the monkey is the Irishman of of our species? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like like I was thinking like maybe we think it's like the opposable thumbs that separate us. But like uh-huh. it's alcoholism. maybe it's the alcoholism. <laughs> that's that's uh, another Dante great. great. Remember when Dante tweeted that fairly recently? Mm. It's like this is the funniest sign I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and it was like it was like an exceptionally common phrase, like uh, something along the lines of like God created alcohol to keep the Irish from overtaking the world or something like that. <laughs> yeah. like, like one of the most common phrases of all time. It's like who, who comes up with this stuff? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> It was like you literally in a bar, like you can tell it's on like a home good sign. Like this is this is classic. <laughs> um I, I I think the monkeys Monkeys getting drunk drunk monkeys I think would be a problem more so I don't think it'd be peaceful. I think they'd be like I think we'd fight more. Yeah, like drunk mm. Irish guys at the bar. Yeah. Like, like we almost need to get like stoned monkeys. <laughs> High monkeys, I think, are a good thing. Drunk monkeys is like, yeah, the drunk Irish at the bar. You don't want that. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Also, like, why aren't we getting more animals drunk? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> great, okay. panda? Yeah. Get, get the yeah. pandas drunk. Let them roll around. Yeah. Little, little <laughs> we drunk don't know kitten any would be funny. Animals drunk vibes. I know, right? Who would be the best? Ooh, good question. If awesome. animals could drink, who would be the best and worst drunks? I and mean, this is this kind of is unfortunate because it's kind of like what's happened with the age thing, where there's a pretty strong chance we already just said the best one. Monkey. Like oh, it's monkeys. monkeys. Yeah. Um, but there's. I think a bear could be. Drunk bear would be great. Drunk bear would be good. Mm-hmm. Drunk bear though would be. I mean, I I have I have some larger friends. You, I've called you a drunk bear before. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like if you're bear if you're if you, if a bear is drunk and you got to take care of him, it's like oh my. Yeah, you're like I gotta get him this guy bucket. into bed. I gotta get this guy into the Uber. <laughs> but he's but a thousand pounds. As a drunk bear, I'm like, dude, fucking. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, always bro. like, I don't. I have the all of this is made to be left alone yeah. as a drunk bear. Like, <laughs> like, There's like, definitely been times where people are like, you know, like John's like passed out on the floor. Like, should we get him to bed? I'm like, I think he's good. Yeah. <laughs> he looks pretty peaceful to me. You we know? left you in Whistlepig that one Bro, time. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm I left him on his, on his tennis, co- uh, yeah. tennis court one time. He just sprawled out. And people were like, should we get him? I'm like, look at him. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll spray him with bug spray, but that's about it. <laughs> Whatever I'm doing, I'm, it's exactly I what I want to be doing. doing it. That's a great... Like, like whatever I'm doing, I probably don't want to be doing. <laughs> that's the that's the life I've chosen. Unfortunately, I made a series of choices where pretty much at all times I'm doing something I don't want to do. <laughs> you are the opposite, yeah. and I implore all of the listeners and viewers out there to live like John. Think of your life as a series of choices and <laughs> options that you must make. In order to get to the point where you are doing what you want to do at all times, and, 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 uh, seriously, I, that's I, genuine. I, I agree. I, I, I would recommend it, but it's actually, it's it's, it don't plan, and and this is actually a, a, an interesting connection I'm going to make here for a second. It's because I see South Carolina up there, and I remember there's the big deal about Don Staley with mm. with transgender women playing basketball and all that stuff, and people are like, this is going to end it as it as we know. It's going to end women's sports as we know it. Well, then we'll deal with that when that happens. Mm-hmm. But right now, like, sure, whoever wants to play can play. Mm-hmm. And then if, if in twenty years it's just, which I can't foresee at all, it's a bunch of fucking dudes. <laughs> who play, like, like, well, then we'll fucking deal with that then. But like right now, this is what we want to be doing, yeah. so we'll do that. Yeah. And then we'll deal with that when that comes. And right. we'll deal with that when that comes. It's it's too much projecting and predicting and yeah. I mean, all the time we we. Uh, even like here, like when we're talking like barstool drama, like a lot of times we like predict like, well, what, well, what might happen, or like, right, what's right. good. Well, if that, if, if if we go down this path, like it could lead to this. It's like it could, but why don't we talk about the path we're on? Why don't we talk about what's <laughs> happening right now? It might, you know? You're right. That, the worst case scenario might happen, and we'll deal with that when it happens. Yeah, yeah. But until then, until let's then let's go in the in the real. Yeah. Now some things you have to like predict and prepare for. I get that, mm-hmm. but you start to go down that road too often, and it's like. Well, now we're just making decisions based on, like, fiction. Yeah, right. Like, made-up <laughs> shit that may never occur at all, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah, well, Bronny James could play for USC next year. 
Sure, sure, he yeah. could. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, so well, what's going on with him? He he he's probably gonna pull back out, right? Yeah, I so feel like that was a test to see if some franchise would be like, we actually like him, or is that like a we all know what's going on here? I'm going to the league. I'm playing with my dad. We got to get this done quicker than than yeah. like like if if I could see a world where LeBron is like, I only want to play one or two more years, and so he's like, let me just go to the league right now. It's raccoon. Be, Sorry, be a. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's finish that first. Um, mm. Drunk raccoons. Uh, mm. Remember that video of that guy who feeds all those raccoons yes, uh, little like, raccoon. frozen grapes, and they're just awesome. They just <laughs> and they're like so friendly to him. Raccoon, raccoons are drunk. There's, we they I just think we have drunk. no evidence to say that raccoons aren't born drunk. <laughs> I think well, they, their whole life is just them dumpster diving, looking yeah. for like they probably are eating fermented and, and gross shit that fucks with their body. <laughs> it's just raccoons are like constantly on psychedelics. Basically, yeah, dude, like, I had a I good, ate some I had a good weird... five years where I was a raccoon. I had a good five years where I was a raccoon. No, I, period. I, I, Stop. End of story. <laughs> I'm like 2019 to 2023. I was a raccoon. <laughs> a, a, a trash panda human yeah. that's fucking great it did sound like you were gonna finish the sentence with something else no <laughs> yeah just, I, was a, I was a I was a raccoon, I was a raccoon. And, <laughs> dude and I saw a video wrong. I saw a video just last night that made me think of raccoon where it was it was, a, it was a raccoon attacking a little girl and she's like, bite the girl. Little girl's about to walk into her house. It's a ring cam. And the raccoon comes up and starts like, I don't know if it ever actually bites her, but it's like wrestling with her and scaring yeah. her. Yeah. And the mom comes running out and grabs the raccoon by the back of its head. Yeah. Uh, by the back of its neck. And she's holding it up. Mm. And the raccoon's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then she just chucks the raccoon and gets back in the house. But the ring cam's still running. The raccoon just lands, rolls, and it's like, what the fuck just happened? Hell was that? It just starts walking again. And I was like, yeah, no, I've done that a million times. I've been there. What the fuck was that? That was, that was crazy. Yeah. That's, that's it. That was that drunk raccoon was me after that stripper or, or hooker shoved a stiletto up my ass. I was, like, I was like, what the fuck? That was that, you guys got that was nuts. Anyway, I'm gonna have a drink. My mom, uh, my mom got in a scrap with a with a raccoon raccoon once my uh first family dog Jax, was a small dog and uh we were in this is back when we lived outside of philly and um and it was like pretty suburban so there was like we had a big backyard and this raccoon like pinned Jax down and was just like clawing at him like it probably would have been curtains for Jax if nobody was there really he was a small what kind of dog was Jax? Uh, shih tzu okay. small oh, dog okay. and he was still a pup so he was like small small and he just got pinned down and my mom uh, I was on the back deck. I wish we had a ring camera back then. And she just fucking boom, <laughs> booted this thing. And it <laughs> like skirted across the wood deck. She grabbed the dog and got in the house. And ever since then, my dad's called her Raccoon Killing Kathy Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the, the lore of Raccoon Killing Kathy Clancy? <laughs> <laughs> that was That kind of reminds me of what I would call Jackie's coming out moment. The uh, Jackie and her mom with the crows. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. What was that again? When ja- Jackie's mom used to just beat the shit out of crows, she would like scare put like crows? dead crows. She had like right. all sorts of contraptions to get right these crows. to like warn the other the living crows. Right? Yeah. yeah. She she also well, we, we looked this up. It's kind of a real thing. Right? It is a real thing. Yeah. yeah. The, the the like rats kept bringing her like peanuts at one point, and she was like, I think. She's like, this could make me sound crazy. I think I'm queen of the rats. Like, it's like they, <laughs> they view me as their queen. <laughs> that, I, don't, I don't remember if it was, that was very much your, uh, de- definitively your first, but it was up there. It was like, oh, this, oh, this, 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 this shit can like spin a tail. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I remember the first time Jackie, it was literally Jackie's first day, and she was zooming in. And Nick had said something, and then Jackie was like, so when do I talk? And I was like, who does this shit think she is? <laughs> so when is <laughs> no, my no. time to shine? No, it was you, – you, you weren't, like, being, like, so I, I go talk. before you were You were just you. trying to, like, understand the show. And, like, you were like, so I talk. And I think we were just like, well, you'll know when to talk. And, and then – and I was like, who the hell is this person? And then you said something during that show where I was like – that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, that was all over Zoom, so the, the crow was in person, so it wasn't mm. until much later 
where it was like, when, oh. When, when do I talk? <laughs> no, I didn't. I have the video recording. You guys are like. Oh, I'm, wow. You have? Yeah. Well, I just have it. You're like, so we have a new intern, Jackie. And you're like, you're like, it's making me so nervous. Like that she's what like people are watching, which I guess at the time it was only Nick. And then you guys were just like, this is so weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was strange for us to have that. Yeah. yeah. And then I like I was just there. And then you guys like asked about like college. And I was like, yeah. And that was that. Look at that honker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what you have. Bro, even on. back to the age thing. Like, I don't think I look that different, but I look so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're all, uh, we're all the same general person. It's not like any of us is like, oh, you became like fat or right, you right. now have long hair or no hair or whatever. We're all still like the same mold, but it's just like, I don't know what looks different, but it all does. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know Kristen Wig, have you guys like. Jack, your nose is so It's so much bad. better. <laughs> wait, wait, let me yeah. your, your no, your no, Like your nose job was it's so, so good. I don't remember being so yeah, crooked. Remember. That shit was a schnozola. Go, go back wait, in the beginning. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it is hanging. It is hanging right, dude. I told you guys that nose that's is like, running away from your face. That's why I'm like anyone who told me like not to get it, like bad fuck people. You. Yeah, bad, bad people. people. But but uh, just like also like yeah, you didn't know you didn't know anything else. So I mean like, that nose is awful. That, I know. I know. That's what I was saying. I never looked at you and was like. I mean, I was like, yeah, she's got a little bit of a beak. But I was, I was never like, yo, that, look how curved that thing is. <laughs> I almost, didn't know the curve. It almost looks like it's so heavy, it's, it's just falling down. <laughs> yeah. Just filled I up. I also don't like having these conversations about Jackie's nose, because I'm just like, well, that's just mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you're straight arrow Gennaro. Yeah, it's straight, but it's like, it's like it if I got good. it fixed, like, when we went back to look at videos, we'd, we'd be, be like, like, whoa. Like, Jesus Christ, John, your nose is horrific. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes you feel good though doesn't Jackie well no yeah yeah now it makes me feel good but it's also like what else am I missing like what no, other no, procedures no no I, I hear you but that thing was a glaring you know glaring yeah. knock yeah, on your yeah, ability yeah. to be pretty I'm so fucking I wish I got it like earlier um, yeah totally what was I gonna say uh, Kristen Wiig looks so beyond good in the new like TV show Royale whatever that that makes me be like okay money is literally just like you're not rich, you're. Oh, yeah, well, that, that was a funny know, thing that kind of popped up over the weekend, or maybe it was like towards the end of the week, where it was like, SNL doesn't hire hot people, right? And then everyone was posting pictures of everyone 15 years after of SNL, yeah, after yeah. they were incredibly famous, yeah, and being like, oh really? And it's like, well, yeah, I. But they weren't. Then. It, it, I, and, and again, you could do that with anything, but it, it's, I, I would agree with that person's sentiment where that yeah. no one on SNL is hot. Yeah, correct. Like, Jason Sudeikis got hot. Kristen mm -hmm. Wiig got hot. I'm sure there's a million people who got yeah, hot. Yeah, you know, uh, Brad Pitt's like, not joining the cast of SNL. Right. Sudeikis yeah. wasn't a fucking looker when he was on yeah. SNL. No, because those guys are doing fucking movies and shit. <laughs> what do you think the number is that, like, you have to have in your bank account to be hot? Like, mm. to, mm. like, like, I've thought about this, like, because you need... Like, if you got shitty hair, you need the new hairline. If you got a shitty nose, you need teeth. Like, what's the number? And then you got to start dressing better. The, the the food that you eat, you have to have a personal chef. Good skincare routine. Well, also, there's it's not just money because it's motivation, too. Yeah. Because you can have money and still be ugly. You can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Listen, you're you, you, you've been the number one beater of you don't have it's yeah. not money. But but then when so I like got when, it, I'm like, I'm not really I'm not doing anything with it. Yeah, yeah. You got to also want to do it. Like, I could probably get a chef and uh like i guess i see i don't even know what to do do you go get like a skincare routine uh i don't know what to do how do you get hot <laughs> <laughs> like okay i'm gonna give you a bag of money right now what would you do to get hot in the arguments that i've had about this people that i want to answer has always been personal chef like yeah. the food that you put in your body you eat, makes yeah, you good. Right, right. Yeah. That, Dude. like, if you're healthy, not only do you, like, lose weight, but I do think, like, your skin's better. You yeah. You bags under your eyes. You don't mm -hmm. look, uh, like, all that shit. I yeah. guess also, you know, like, I'm sure somebody would give me eyebrows. It's like, bro, <laughs> you're running around with no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> you look ridiculous. Here are some eyebrows. It is. Is there, like, How much do eyebrows cost? <laughs> <laughs> is there, like, an exterior designer for people? That's a great, uh, like, a great title. <laughs> I'm an exterior designer <laughs> like, for obviously you. Obviously, there are stylists, yeah. and but, like, you're just like, yo. Basically, treat me like a 
Like Seventeen a, year old girl trying to join a sorority. Yeah, yeah. Just circle what's uh, wrong. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a thing. Of, I'm like a block of clay. Like make me. You know, like we gotta break that nose, girl. We gotta <laughs> fix that thing. We're gonna. You know, I mean, I, I'm sure if I either, if I got rid of like my gray patches on my beard, and got some eyebrows, and ate to like ate better to the point that like my skin was like not like splotchy Irishman. I would look a lot better. Yeah. I, I think, like, how much does that cost? I'm not really sure. Everyone being able to afford, like, weekly, like, facials and everything. You, like, like, that, you think that really makes, like, a difference? Yeah. I think something like food and, like, exercise and shit makes more of a difference than, like, in the moment you get, you get a facial, get your makeup done, you look awesome. But, like, yeah. that next morning when that all, like, wears off, mm-hmm. I feel like you're still. I think, you know, I think, I think the skin stuff's just water. Yeah, a lot of it is. For sure. Like, what does that yeah. mean? I, I, I know. Water. Oh, we, drinking water. Yeah. I thought you meant like putting water on your face. I, I've had. Yeah, you drink a lot I, of water. My, my skin complimented by Whitney Cummings, and that's nice. I've had my skin complimented recently by Will Compton. Where he, like, when, we were at, <laughs> when, we were at, when we were at the uh, the combine, he's like, dude, what is your routine? And I was like, what are you talking about? You like, your skin. And I was, like, I was like, I just drink a lot of water. Will Will's a great example. I, I do. I, I put moisturizer on as well, but I've never had a facial. So, like, I don't. It must just be the water. It's water. Mm. I, I also think like you're either you know if you're born with fucking like a smear of freckles versus not. Freckles you know. are hot right now, aren't mm-hmm. they? Yeah. Damn. I Will is a good. great, a number yeah. one. Oh yeah. A number I, one draft. I can't believe that was of, the first time we brought up Will. Like Will yeah. should have been brought up immediately. <laughs> he is the for, for men. He is the poster child of you're not hot <laughs> yeah. or uh, you're just ugly or you're just poor. <laughs> I mean, look at that dude. <laughs> Wait, the, 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 he is proof positive that hair and teeth. Yeah. Are everything? Yeah, yeah. it definitely Those two matters things. the most about how ugly you are before the fame too. I think. Yeah, you know. Yep. Because yeah, because if you're just you like a, fine, you looking, have a, a, a before and after before to compare. And after, yeah. You know? yeah. If you're just like like in the beginning, you were like kind of good looking, and now you're like a little bit better. It's like whatever. Yeah. When it's like you know, you look like you used to chew on rocks. Will <laughs> like that makes a huge difference. I think the hair honestly makes a bigger difference than the teeth because you can always you can always like. Like smile at your teeth, right. keep them low profile. When you're walking around with a haircut like he had, no, nah, Jesus I think it's the Christ, teeth, dude. You're t- okay, I- I'm gonna ask you a question right now. You would rather have that hair for the rest of your life, or your teeth for the rest of your life? I think the teeth when you have like he Will's got a. This is good. we're really fucking glazing Will here. But like, <laughs> Will like hop off. What do they say? Hop off it. Yeah. Hop <laughs> off it. Doing, doing tricks on it. it. Yeah, you're doing tricks on <laughs> it. Jumping on it. You're doing. You're jumping on it. You're doing tricks on it right now, kid. The like Will's got a smile. Will Will, has, Will's smile is very welcoming. Yeah. And I think that is a more attractive trait <laughs> than hair. True. I get what you're saying, but I think teeth, bad teeth. Now his are like horrendous teeth, <laughs> but you can have in like that a picture gap. of him smiling in the in the Redskins jersey. His Insane. they blend into I, the jersey. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's so bad. But I think hair still trumps. Te- like you can have bad teeth, and it almost like if you have like a stray hand gap, it like becomes your thing. Right. I think bad hair is bad hair. Again yeah. and again, you can hide your teeth. You can. But stray hand has good teeth. There's just a gap. Yeah, that's why. I mean, those two are two different yeah. things. But like, if you if you don't have, I, Jackie, what would you prefer in a guy? Uh, like a bad bald? Like we're not just talking like uh, you know you don't just shave your head and get to look like you know Vin Diesel or something. Don't say what? Vin Diesel. There's a very clear answer for the hottest bald man alive. The rock? No. no, coolest, hottest. I don't know what we want to call it. We've done stay them, stay them. Yeah, stay them a, makes that receding hairline. Yeah, work, he works dude. it. But so you can't do that. We're talking like you either have the the Will Compton or Brandon Walker haircut, or you have like the George Costanza ring, like bad hair, because yeah. that's that's the equivalent of Will's teeth is like the the ring around the yeah. hair. <laughs> what would you rather have in a guy, um, or what's worse? I should say, what's worse in a guy? Wait, sorry, sorry. The two haircuts, or are you saying no? Two? No, so you either have a guy who has like the oh. bald ring and he does like the comb over with like little strands, uh. or he has like a great head of hair, flowing hair, yeah, but he has like you know a, a really crooked teeth situation. But he could wear a hat, you know. So you're picking this, so you're, you're only picking concerned the teeth. with what other people think, 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I also saw something, too, and it's like, as a man, like, you shouldn't be oh boy. bald. Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, as because, a man, what are you no, doing being bald? Yeah. No, 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 no. Sorry. Stop unless, being short unless it's and stop like, being bald. Unless it's, like, absolutely, like you know, you can't hang on to it any longer or like it's like cancer or something like that. Like there's so much that women do like to keep up with like I dye my hair, like I got the nose job, I do skincare, I do whatever. It's like the one thing that you guys kind of have to worry about is hair. So it's like I want to see the effort. I want to see the pills. I want to see the, you yeah. know. Well, All right, you landed the plane there. It's a good yeah, argument. Exactly. But, yeah. but I will say this up until very, pretty much very recently, there really wasn't much you like could do. Yeah, exactly. Like now everybody should do the blocks. pills, and you have the like the spray if you have the bald up here in yeah. the back. And now, like just now, uh, plugs are becoming like somewhat regular people can get them. Right. But for a long time, it was just like when your hair starts to go, it goes. <laughs> you're fucked. I it's uh, you just have to like the effort has to be there. You mm -hmm. know, like I don't care if you're actually, but like as, if you're just like complaining about balding and then you're not doing anything about it, it's like. Okay. Also, it's funny when they're like. Do you know the side effects on that medication? It's like, do you know the side effects on <laughs> yeah. all the shit that women take? Yeah. <laughs> all of that shit has side effects, bro. Literally. Of course. So, yeah, we're like constantly being pumped with hormones and shit. So, yeah. That's... So, wait, wait. If I gave you a guy, he's six foot tall. Yeah. Six inches, six figures. <laughs> I'm taking bald. You're taking the bald. Yeah, for sure. Over teeth. <sighs> like a George Costanza bald. You don't have to kiss their head. You yeah, don't exactly. kiss their those, teeth Those teeth either. like get in your mouth. No, they yeah. don't. That's like when people say like kissing with braces. You're never like, if you're like, like if your tongue is like hitting the braces, I feel like you're doing something very wrong with your kissing. Yeah, but it's still just like the thought. The thought. Like, yeah, yeah. Sharing, that I understand. Like, that I understand. Yeah, you're not feeling it. But I, I, but sometimes like a crooked smile is cute. Like I get it when people are like, you know. I, I think you can work that better than you can just be like, you're a bald old man. I think I'd also rather like if you have bad teeth, you're you look poor. If you have bad hair, you look old. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's I could work poor better than I could work old. Oh, I'd rather work old. Really? Yeah. Not old in like a good way. It's like you're like middle. You're mid age. Middle age. <laughs> middle age sucks. <laughs> middle age is gross. People dude. people don't respect poor people. People respect. No, they people. don't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> respect is. I was at the um, the rock climbing. My kids are loving this indoor rock climbing place. And it's awesome. The kids love it. You can do obstacle courses and climb walls. And there's always like a couple guys that are just doing it too. And they're like there with their kids. And they're not doing it to be like, we're going to do this like activity together. They're doing it because they want to fucking climb the rock, <laughs> the, the walls. And they're like pushing themselves or like, you know, you can tell they're like timing themselves and shit. That's insane. Yeah, that's that's borderline, borderline like going down the slide at the playground. <laughs> that's I was, crazy. I was gonna say like like going to the t-ball field and like hitting dingers. Yeah, like, yeah, like, same shit. shit. Uh, I'm gonna be pitcher. I'm quarterback. <laughs> like they get in a harness and everything. They're walking around like adult men with their fucking everything's harnessed in. They're strapping in and they're climbing up next to like a four year old. <laughs> that is so crazy. Like. My kid was up there doing a, a obstacle course with a with a grown adult. <laughs> Dude, kill yourself! <laughs> that is crazy town. All right, everyone knows we are presented by Game Time. It is time to do one of my favorite weekly activities. I am going to see what's in town this week with Game Time. Um, I get it is New York City, so there's usually a little bit more. But you can do this in every city. You can be like, "Whoa, what the hell? What's going on?" Um, Michael Jackson, the musical. <laughs> My son's a queer. Merrily we roll along. I've talked about that. That's fire. Aladdin fire. Hamilton fire. Um, Marlins at Yankees. Nets are in town. I'm sorry. Nets are always in town. Uh, Raptors are in town. Rangers Islanders tomorrow night at 7. I will be in Chicago. Oh, Olivia Rodrigo's at the, at the Garden tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going? What? Are you going? I didn't realize you. Dude, this is that is kind of disappointing because I thought I had uh, – I thought I had a, 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 a plug with Olivia Rodrigo. I thought I was going to – I I did poor planning with Olivia Rodrigo. However, don't be like me. Don't do poor planning. Go on game time. Get your tickets. You can get tickets to any event, Olivia Rodrigo, uh, for exceptionally cheap. 
That's right. With Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barcelona Sports, you shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to get tickets to all your sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. They have flash deals for sudden discounts, zone deals for when you're feeling flexible, and their lowest price guarantee means that if you can find the same seats for anywhere else, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. It is the best place for best for last minute seats, up to 60% off your favorite events. What are you waiting for? I'm going to buy these Olivia Rodrigo tickets now. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code KFC for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Did you see my ED tweet? No. Dude, so it was I, I, it wasn't my tweet really like I just screenshotted something I saw on Instagram. Uh, ESPN posted about ED. oh yes yeah the NIL it is, yeah. yes that's so so crazy. NIL okay let's so so um, Zach ED posted that he's not getting paid NIL money because he's from Canada even though he plays in America yeah. In what world is that a thing? I, I think it's just like the law hasn't caught up to. The NIL yet? To what though? It's like, it's, it's like it, people it, on student visas can't make money. Oh, oh, so it's not, so it's just any money. Yeah. Like, okay, that makes more sense, I guess. Yeah. Which yeah, it yeah. still doesn't really though. Well, no, it like, doesn't make sense, but I understand what's going on now. Yeah, it's it's an old older law that if you're on a student visa, you can't. So he couldn't even like go you're to like, a work visa. You're on a, a coffee visa. shop and make a fucking dollar. As that far way. as I understand it, yes, I don't have a great understanding of it, but that is. But well, no, that well, doesn't make any sense because if you're a student, you have to be able to make money. Because not every student's coming on a scholarship. I wouldn't be surprised if the NCAA, you know, the only thing worse than like you take the NCAA rules and you mix them with the uh, immigration rules. Yeah, yeah. And you're barely a human by the end of it. You're just a drunk monkey. Like th- that. That is one of the. But you can make money elsewhere, which is why a lot of big time programs have started adding. European tours and world tours to their off-season regiment so the players can make money there. You can make money not on American soil. Bro, I would do like I wouldn't even I wouldn't even hide it. I'd be like, you know, today we're doing like a a group activity together where like you walk away with like a million dollars. You know what I mean? Just be like yeah. here, you know, you can't get paid, but at the end of the year we're going to we're going to host this big event and if you like we're going to do carnival games and whoever wins the carnival games gets $500,000 <laughs> today. It's it's like well, also, why doesn't he just go film commercials in, in yeah. Canada or Mexico? Be like, all right, yeah, I, I can be an advertiser for you. That, the shoot has to be in a different country. That, I mean, they're going to have to get with the times because any European players or can- Canadian players just be like, I'm going pro. Yeah. yeah. Like, I can't waste a year of not making money to go to these programs. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, but the, the other thing I wanted to say, uh, I watched the Curb finale last night. Did he do it? Did he? Did he? He did. did yeah. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it was great. And I actually, in more thinking about it, I wasn't old enough to have a real opinion on how Seinfeld ended. I don't, I don't understand another way to end these kind of shows. Where, like, it's, it's almost just like, it's like taking Kate and Clark out with four, three minutes left or two minutes left, whatever it was, so everyone can give her the standing O and, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like celebrate her. Like, that's what these shows are. Like, yeah, these it's, kind it's, of a, it's a victory lap. It's not like a. But, like, these kind of, like, like things like Curb, things like Seinfeld, things like Sonny. Like, like in things like New Girl, The Office, Parks and Rec, there was character growth throughout the show. Mm-hmm. So there's a way to tie them up where mm-hmm. you're like, you know, they, they had goals, things they wanted to achieve. This one gets married. This one has a kid. Right. This one gets the dream job they've in, always wanted. In Curb, Sonny, and Seinfeld, I'm sure there are other ones that I'm not thinking of. Mm-hmm. The characters never had goals. It's just, mm-hmm. let's just exist. So you can't just be like, and by the way, now Dennis Reynolds is president. Like, what the fuck? That was never a thing. Sure. You can kind of only end it by... Going through, like, showing their greatest hits and being like, God, that was funny. Oh, that was unbelievable. That was great. There really isn't, like, it would be crazy if, like, le- the curb just ends in, like, Larry David's happy. Or, no. Or yeah, it's Seinfeld like, ended. And, everyone's like, got to be a piece of shit. Jerry was a famous stand-up and Costanza was married. Like, that wouldn't, none of that would make any yeah. sense. Right. So right. the only, I, I don't, I don't get I, why I, people hate I, him. I can't remember what was wanted or expected at that point. Um... I was I was too young. I think I was ninety eight, so I was like what thirteen. So I was like I watched it, but I wasn't old enough to like read articles and like right. judge the reaction on it. Um, I think maybe because it was just like far fetched, where like everything else about their 
about there was just like them like living life in their apartment in New York City, and yeah. then all of a sudden it was like this. It's kind of a wacky, zany thing. Like, but I would guess that's a real. Know? That was a real law. Probably a real law, law, but I just don't. Because it's like this is a real law. Like, yes, he, he got arrested for giving water to someone in a, in a voter line, like. <laughs> it's yeah, kind of it showing the absurdity of a real law. Yeah, I would just say that, like, if you're used to just, like, Kramer, you know, coming across the hallway and George and Elaine are, like, on a date, and now all of a sudden we're, like, you're out of the city and you're getting arrested for a weird law and we're doing a trial, like, I don't know, that would be the only thing. Yeah. But, like, it was, it was a mechanism, too. It's like, we have so many amazing side characters and bit characters. What's a way we can funnel them all back right. through here? How about they're all witnesses to your trash behavior <laughs> and we relive it? Like, I think it was a little bit of a tool that they used. I think maybe there was a, people didn't like them ending up guilty and in prison because this – spoilers alert's coming. Uh, Jerry bails them out right away. And, uh, and see, that's and funny. And they're yeah. walking out and, and – Larry goes, maybe we should end the last one this way. And Jerry's like, yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> so like maybe it was just the fact that they ended up in jail and like they ended up guilty and like it ended with like the jail cell closing yeah, and the camera yeah, panning out. I do remember that. Yeah, cell. they're just there. So like well, Yeah, because I think part of it is kind of like like it's almost like so wait, what really happens now? Like they're just in jail, like for how long? <laughs> yeah. what, you know? Like to be like the end if Tony Soprano ended up in jail, it'd be like that makes sense. It's like they're in jail at the end of this. <laughs> what are you talking about? That I can I can see people being like, this is it's just weird. Yeah. It's just a strange thing. Jerry, Jerry doesn't bail him out because he does. He is found guilty. It's he, he, Jerry has a mistrial declared. But I also just think that we had not yet gone through all of the bad finales. That was one of the early ones. Yeah. The early, ama- This is an amazing. Probably like the first. When you think about it, right? Think about modern obsessive appointment TV television finales. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, that I'm, I don't remember Matt. I'm sure there's a bunch, like... Yeah, Matt, well, Matt, the, Matt, the liked, Matt, right? MASH was a very big one. Yeah, I guess I, guess, I guess I shouldn't say that. In the modern era, for sure. But, like, yeah, MASH, I'm sure Cheers had a big one. But I don't know, that felt like... I feel like uh, maybe the other ones had stuck it. Maybe that was it, too. I don't know. But, like, looking back on it, comparing it to some of the other finales... I feel like uh, it, was, it, was, it was okay. It's just you know? a highlight over here. Like, let's run our highlight reel yeah. and let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It was. They had, I like, know there was that one. There was that one show from like the I don't know sixties, seventies, whatever it was, where it all turned out to be a dream. I think it was Bob Newhart. I don't. I don't. I, I don't it, say you're and wrong. And people like about. hated that one. Yeah. They were like, "That's you know, that's stupid." Um, and then there was one where there was a guy had two shows. And I think he rolls over in the end, and it was all. Or that, I think I'm talking about the same thing. He like rolled over and was like, "I just had the weirdest dream," and it was him on his other TV show in bed with his <laughs> TV show wife. But <clears throat> anyway, um, let's get to our finale. Or let's get to our voicemails. Hey everyone! So I know a lot of people have been sending in videos lately for Girl Boss Jackie, and I actually want to keep that going because I think I have something that is going to absolutely knock her fucking socks off. So I was listening to the episode from about a week or two ago where Jackie talked about her movie concept for if flowers were like largely consumed by humans, like if they were like veggies or something else you'd find in the grocery store. And at one point I know you mentioned going to high scale restaurants and them serving like really elaborate orchids. Well, prepare to have your ass just blown clean off because a lot of common flowers are actually edible for humans. And I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, that if a restaurant serves something with a floral garnish that it's required, it be edible. So I have a little list here, if you'll indulge me, of some like common flowers that are edible. There's carnations, chamomile, which is used in tea a lot, chrysanthemums, dandelions, which is also common in tea, geraniums, hibiscus, lavender, lilacs, marigolds, this next one is really gonna get you going. <laughs> Orchids are edible for humans. There's oh, wow. also pansies, peonies, uh, roses, like the girl in the new Hunger Games movie eats the rose petals, which I thought was whack, but apparently you can do. Um, sunflowers, tulips, and violets. So this was not an exhaustive list. There's still a lot more flowers that are edible for humans. Um, I just picked ones that were kind of commonly known. 
but there are also a lot of commonly known flowers that are toxic to humans so don't like just go out and start eating flowers but yeah if you get a little cocktail with the little flower on top or sushi with the flower on the side technically speaking if you are at a well-vetted respected establishment uh you should be able to eat that flower but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed learning this little information even though it kind of kills the movie idea <laughs> um but jackie i hope you remember me when you're famous and you open your orchid restaurant Oh, cute. See, we got to make this bitchy flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, know yeah. what I was thinking about this is like, like, okay, in, I remember like one time taking a biology test and like, it, there was like a question about the brain and I forgot like one of the things, the name was brain, the brain was named or whatever. And I was like, that's a ridiculous thing for you to fail me on. Like, you know, for my brain to fail me on. Like, you know, the answer, <laughs> you work like that. Like, why are you like not telling me how, like, the brain knows how the brain works, but yet it can't tell us how the brain works. You know what I mean? So then it's kind of like, sorry, you're probably like, where am I going with this? No, I guess. So it's like in terms of like cancer in our body, like our body some like knows that there's cancer in our body, but it's not telling us like that when there's a tumor. Like so then I'm like here frustrated, being like, why are we spending like thirty minutes thinking about if flowers were edible? But, like, you don't, like, want to tell me that I have cancer? Like, I, I don't have cancer. But, like, why did, why does that not feel like, like that is some important information that needs to come up? Why are we focusing on the flower thing? Now. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. I would argue that your body is telling you you have cancer. You're just not listening. But it's not, like, a known like it doesn't that is something that you got to be super fucking clear about that yeah, like, yeah. you gotta let me the fuck no <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you can't just that's, that's you an know. open relationship conversation we have to both leave knowing what we're doing yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's don't like, drop the, hints on that one yeah the way that like anxiety like you know it's like your body's like trying to tell you when you're in a dangerous situation yeah. it's like so whenever i'm in any kind of social situation like you think it's the end of the fucking world but you don't think to like really let me know and like really send the signs when I have fucking cancer. Do you know what I mean? Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you will. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, but, but I just feel like, you know, so many people, like I'm thinking about yeah, Alana, like, like, like she, she yeah, like suddenly kind of had something in the back of her head that was like, I don't know. This doesn't feel right. But like, I don't know. There should be something like, you know, your brain mm -hmm. knows like, yeah, by the way, we have a lump. Like that is. Cancer. Yeah. I saw, I saw her story being like, she, she only caught it because like, uh, they ran one test and it said, like, what is the probability that I will, like, get cancer under the age of 30? And her number was, like, a little bit higher than usual. And her doctor was like, that's enough for you to get a scan. Otherwise, like, Grinnell nothing. caught it. Yeah. Grinnell, Grinnell's doc? What do you mean? Grinnell, oh, Grinnell was, was feeling her boob and was like, this is a bump right here. Mm. <laughs> so, girls, let your man fill you up <laughs> and save your life. <laughs> Um, we got to make you eat flowers, though, by the way. We're well, going we're gonna to do a taste test. I, I also, like, was that ever in question? I, I eat flowers all, not all the time. No, no, like, that was never in question. Like, I always knew that there was, like, garnishing you? and everything. I but... used to eat dandelions all the time. I was a dandelion fiend. What? That's, like, kid? the one that's, like, people really don't like. The yellow one. I, yeah. I eat a lot of the yellow well, ones. Is it a child or recently? No, that's a child. Daisy. Okay. child. That's a daisy. But you... You, you said that as if, like, everybody eats flowers. I don't think everybody eats flowers. Yeah. I need flowers. I, I mean, flowers. Well, there wouldn't be full Did meals. Nope. But, like, if I was out with the boys and, like, I got hungry. Fellas! <laughs> give me your dandelions. I eat grass. You guys don't eat grass. I eat grass. I eat leaves. I eat everything. Yeah, that's weird. I would say that's weird. That's weird. I would say What's you're your favorite flower? in the minority. I, I don't know enough about botany to, to give you my favorite flower. I can't tell you. You bring in flowers like a lineup, I go, that one's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I, I just ate shit. I just ate everything. Yeah, you were that kid. Do you eat worms? No, not with any regularity. I'm sure I've eaten a worm before. You're yeah. disgusting. Um, you disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't like I wasn't the like I wasn't. I'll eat stuff for money. I didn't eat glue. Did it fill up the I game? I didn't eat crayons. I would eat because I was hungry. <laughs> you and have you have standards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on, let's not get crazy. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm hungry. We're in the woods. I gotta eat. 
So, Why are you in the woods so often? I just nothing great. Me and my friends have in the woods all the time. <laughs> like, like you can see the house. You know? <laughs> I can go get a snack right there, or I can just eat these dandelions. <laughs> like I know what I'm doing. I yeah. I was. It, I, I think I, you're I, in the I, vast, vast minority on that one. It was again. It wasn't. I wasn't preparing full meals, but like I'd be playing hide and go seek. No one can find me. I'm good at hiding. Just pop a sunflower. <laughs> I just eat whatever's around. You're disgusting. <laughs> Next fucking I did room. some fad shit last night. And the oh. night I woke up and I had bought, shout out Caramel Cone, ever since you brought it up, I've been buying it. And so I bought Don't that. Don't do it. It's like a drug, man. It's a drug. But like I probably had like three or four bites over the night. And then, and then later in the night, I was like half awake, just like had to get some ice cream. And then I basically ate the entire carton and then turned the lights on and realized I was eating my roommate's ice cream that was a completely different flavor. <laughs> <laughs> and I like get rid of the evidence together. and shit. <laughs> Pavs not reminding, realizing things just reminded me of something. Pavs, this is, this is how strong the line was drawn in the race war. <laughs> Pavs didn't realize till after the game yesterday that he went to USC. <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting so hard for Kayla Clark that after the game was over, I was like, "Fuck, I went there." <laughs> you had the ultimate out <laughs> to not be racist. Well, I went to the school. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's fine. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, he's man. like, "Yeah, I put my hat on today." I was like, "Oh, fuck, I went to USC." <laughs> dude, you're like twenty. Like you went to USC like last week. I was gonna say you were almost like there with her. Dude. <laughs> Jackie still doesn't no, believe no, I went to USC. No, I don't believe it. He, like it's literally, I've never heard him have a story from USC. I've never <laughs> like he never talks about it. He's not a fan. I feel like. Like, like I was just like, yeah, I went to USC, and he was like, oh, I also went to USC. <laughs> like, the different <laughs> other USC. Yeah, the other one. That's why we don't know each other. <laughs> like, you did fucking go to USC. You yeah, just I don't remember a lot from it, dude. I was really drunk the whole time. That was it. That's, that's what you that say. Yeah. I was just partying so hard, bro. <laughs> so fucked up at USC. <laughs> the... Uh, Don Staley, national champion, yeah. not many time national championship, but a, a recent national championship again, has yelled at you. Before. He just yelled at me. I be, last That's night. Right. After out. her like gangster speech, I was like, I'm a fan. She's just too Dude, cool she, to not be. A fan. She's a hundred and I think it was 109 and three in the last uh, three years. Yeah, that's right. Three losses the whole fucking. That is crazy, yeah. man. Crazy. Caitlin Clark, the, the the people hating on Caitlin Clark, like the Diana Taurasi's and all them. I think that's a good thing. Oh, I think that's pretty pathetic by them. I, 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 I think yeah, it's but very, like, very. Uh, but I think that's that like kind of like, like crystallizes like it's yeah. just the same. It's right, right, right. We, the we, the we old hate people on her, like yes. the, uh, only the young people could yes. survive in their game. That they I think is do fair. it their way. That mm -hmm. is fair. Uh, yeah, it's like you are so good that you have haters like that. I, I do get that, but it is. It is some true hater shit to be like she has not solidified herself as yeah, an yeah. all-time <laughs> women's player. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you can say like you know he does. She doesn't have like the cherry on top, but to be like if she doesn't win a title, she does not join the ranks of all-time influential women. Yeah, the fuck out. Of here. <laughs> the I, I I was most furious with I, I don't even know the woman's name, but the. Woman who had the points record before Woodward or something yeah. like that. Oh, that bitch! Wait, the there's it, no three point line, and we play with a men's ball. The Fuck line you. she had, and the way the crowd reacted, infuriated Ugh. me like none of terrible. Other. Now you can't duplicate what you're not duplicating, Ugh. and the crowd's like, "Ooh, oh, she's spitting!" It she's doesn't spitting. make any sense. No. What she said doesn't make any no. fucking sense. That was terrible. Guys. I agree. That was <laughs> yeah. so bad. For for people to be like that's such a big like what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> it, it, it like like I, I wish someone just stood up and went like what? Explain that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make what you're saying doesn't yeah. make sense, woman. Right. <laughs> I'm more annoyed. Yeah, annoyed by the crowd. Like yeah. you can get up there and say some dumb shit, but to to like let someone get away with it like that. It's like, no 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 no. You don't get to just say that shit. You just fucking dragged her. Yeah. You can't duplicate what you're not duplicating. Oh, awful. Oh, fingers. I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> God. It was. It, and like she said it like it was a bar, and the crowd reacted like it was a bar. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. No. Yeah. No. Next voicemail. Shout out that girl. She was nice. Dude. Oh, by the way, with that 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 girl's background, the whole time for like not the whole time, but for like half the video, I was like, damn, she's doing this like on a mountain. <laughs> Yeah, wait. Oh no, was she just in a room? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at. The, I thought she was outside too. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. It's like, wow, this is a beautiful view. <laughs> she says her walls painted blue. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, KFC, Feidelberg, everybody else. Um, I heard Feidelberg doing a Game Time ad last week. Shout out Game Time. Um, I, too, am going to the Tim Robinson show in a couple weeks here in Nashville. And um, I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to be like stand up or sketch, improv, whatever it might be. So my question is, when's the last time that you bought something that you had no idea what you were actually going to experience? Thanks. Ooh. Hey, KFC, Feidelberg. I went to a burlesque show in the West Village a few years ago. I didn't know. It was, it was like, it was like, hey, do you want to come to dinner? Also, there's a burlesque show happening. And I was like, okay. And it was, like, there, there really isn't a great story that comes from it. But, I, but I, did, I walked in, like, I did not expect, like, some chick's twat to be rotating above my table as a during dinner as it, as it just was. threw out the t word so casual <laughs> so casual <laughs> he threw that out like we all say it all the time bro you ever had like oh it was like it was like uh my was, answer to this question is coming on this podcast because i did not expect you to just drop <laughs> twat in my face like that <laughs> bro it was so she was above the table and like in those, like you know, like the the ropes or whatever that like Pink uses, mm. you know, like they're almost yeah. like sheets that yeah. people like swing on, like like from uh, yeah, can you she... take me? Yes. So like they had those kind of things, and she had like her legs wrapped in them, <laughs> and like <clears throat> <clears throat> say this is the table, mm. like ten feet above it is a woman who's naked, with her legs spread apart, almost like she's marinating the fucking meal with her pussy, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you know what like, I mean? So like you would just kind of eat, and you like you look up, and you're like, "Whoa, that's a muff!" <laughs> like it was a just muff. Like, this God. guy is on fire. <laughs> he said twat, marinate, and muff in a matter of sixty seconds. You are deplorable, dude. You are disgusting. Oh yeah, but I mean, as we just learned last week, so I can I can eat around anything. So <laughs> you think an open pussy is ruining my appetite? Nice. You are dead wrong, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone else was like, what the hell happened? I was like, you can finish that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Um, my answer for this. I mean, I knew what we were getting into in Amsterdam. I didn't really know we were getting into stilettos up the asshole. And yeah. Shit like that. that was a bit like, I thought we were going 80%. We went 100% mm-hmm. that. Um, so that's, that's probably up there for me. Oh, uh, I, I can't answer this question publicly yet because the video is not out. But Chris Clemmer's rat race, I got into something I did not know what I was getting into. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's a good yeah. one. This, this will make sense whenever that comes out. We'll go revisit this and we'll talk about that then. But I got duped into some shit that Kevin Clancy does not usually do and I was not <laughs> happy about it. It was so bad. So bad. <laughs> I, it was, it was... You said you've never seen my face like that. I didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. Usually, like, I think and we know, I know how to handle I each other. I could tell that you didn't know how to handle it. You were kind of looking at me like, I don't know what to say here. It, it was one and of those ones where like, it's like, you had a face where it was like, don't make fun. Like, not like, not make fun, but like, don't yeah. make this a good time right now. Yeah, no, we're not, I'm not happy. We're I'm not, not happy. having a good time. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> yeah, like, if you tried to goof around, I would have been like, shut the fuck up right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when I say I don't make fun, I mean, like, don't make fun. Fun. Yes. <laughs> like, yep, like yep. don't don't try and spin this. Let's yeah, just cool. get this fucking over yeah, with and get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, John. Not now. <laughs> All right, one more. One more. Um, yeah. for He's Mexico five to 10 minutes City. Late, so. For Mexico City, I booked. Oh yes. I booked a hot air balloon ride, Woo! um, and then breakfast in a cave. I don't know, like what? Hell cave. yeah, oh, boy. And then so... some kind of like a boat. Um, oh god, These boat are... like. So alcohol tasting tour oh Fucking good right. let's get the single yeah. female <laughs> on a boat drunk that is yeah. jackie that's literally where the murders happen anytime somebody disappears they're either on a, uh, a yacht or a, a, uh, um, a cruise or just a regular old boat well, where, yeah. because of the implication you know where they take you out on a boat happen. and get you drunk it's like it's like a what murders happen where good times happen oh, yeah God. well there's apparently like karaoke on this boat. like yeah. it's it's it karaoke seems, on the land too. But it seems like it seems like a wholesome. I don't know. I'm not who, getting who, like murder who, vibes. Are you going with like? Uh, I'm assuming you'll be like in another party. Like other people will. Yeah, I think so. so I don't know. Like I, again, like I don't know. What I'm getting myself into. <laughs> I just signed up for a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a good list. Yeah. That, right? <laughs> yeah. What did you say? Hot air balloon. Hot, Hot air balloon. Dinner in a cave. Breakfast in a cave. Yeah. Breakfast in a cave. 
meal uh, uh drinking on a boat karaoke yeah mm. no I, museum but that's okay well i so i'm not gonna like pre-buy museum tickets because i'm just gonna go there because i don't want to like i don't i want to like people to walk around and then go to a museum mm. i also just i really don't give a fuck about history so but, I'm but time. She just, she's, she's just she's beating around the bush she just doesn't want to go to a museum <laughs> but museum go with the go to a museum with a tour guide Okay. I get like okay. a personal tour. I was telling this. But story. you're the king of p- tour guys just lying. Yeah, but it's but it's fun. Yeah, it's like as long as you just buy into the story. Yeah, yeah. dude. There, I, I was telling. I think I was telling Jackie the story of when I was in Amsterdam and I was at the Museum of Modern Art, and there was this pic, is this pictures of this paintings of this man, and I've I've told you parts of this at least, or maybe the whole thing. Pictures of this man, and he's just, it's pretty ca- standard paintings, and but there's always a city, lit name just spelled out in every picture mm-hmm. and it's because he was running from hitler he had been by by hitler he had been labeled a degenerate artist and all degenerate artists were put to death okay he learned he was a degenerate artist by getting invited by hitler to the degenerate art show got there and was like a lot of what my paintings here fuck? yeah <laughs> and was like fuck this got out of town right away and then spent a good amount of the rest of his career maybe the rest of his career doing paintings and in every painting he would say where he is as a little fuck you at Hitler. No way. That's gangster. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And I was like, had I not had a tour guide to tell, explain this never to me, have known that. I'd be like, okay, cool painting of like a guy in London. And I was like, that's fucking sick. <laughs> so I always use that example as like, if you have a tour guide with you, you learn a lot more where you're like, wait, hang on. That's really fucking cool. <laughs> and we, and we, do we confirm that? Uh, it, you know yeah, what? You know what? No, you know what? Don't yeah, bip, bip, bip. Uh, don't ruin a good story with the truth. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the uh, I'm good. His, his name was Max. It's I don't have that notebook anymore. Um, That's so good. Imagine, imagine being like giving FUs to Hitler. <laughs> I want to say it was like Max, the, the number one Max guy. Max Beckman. <laughs> fucking I. Come on, <laughs> come on. That was fucking good. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, dude. All right, we have no more voicemails, but Jackie, you will be going to, to Mexico. Um, I, I, you know, Morgan Wallen. Where was he when he did it? Nashville. 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 See, that's crazy. So Morgan Wallen, I, the reason I bring it up is because when I was in Mexico, I alluded to this before, but I was at Senior Frogs in Mexico, and we were uh, smoking some weed on like an outdoor balcony of the bar, and my buddy, Kyle, uh... I just watched him all by himself. He was just alone. I mean, we, we were hanging out, but on his own, he just picked up a fold-out chair, a fold-up chair, and just poof, threw it over the balcony. Mm. And I was just like, dude, why the fuck did you do that? Yeah. And he was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. And then he just did it again. And I am so not that kind of guy. I don't do any of that sort of shit. I don't like vandalizing. I don't think it's funny. All that shit. And uh, for I guess I was just caught up in the moment, spring break. I was drunk, and I was just like, well, I want to try that too. And it it was just it it went into like a there was just trees and kind of like a canopy almost like a just a brush of sort, and they would just go into like the depths and just poof, disappear. We couldn't hear anything at the bottom. We were kind of like on a, I guess it was almost like a mountainside in a weird way. It was like an outdoor Mexican whatever but it wasn't just like there was a a lower level to the bar or it was just like smashing on a driveway it was just pff, disappearing mm-hmm. which on the one hand i was like that's good for all we you know hopefully it's just landing at like the bottom of, of rocks you yeah. know on the other hand mm-hmm. i don't know there could be a fucking family of four living in like a hut down there <laughs> that were just raining steel chairs <laughs> down upon them but this was in mexico in a weird outdoor spot like i don't know what the fuck is going on that we almost got arrested there was like cops on the scene and we were getting into a cab and like the bar owner was like pulling us out to be like this it's them it's them and I, we just handed them all the cash we had to be like let us get in this car and go away <clears throat> that's the only reason we got away with it because we just paid all the bar owners this he was throwing chairs off of the bar in nashville yeah uh, in the like i it's I know the that's bar a was... totally different story we've been we've all been in nashville we've all been <laughs> in those bars you're not throwing chairs anywhere that is not Dangerous. Yeah. yeah, the bar is called Chiefs. It's a uh, it's a uh, fucking Eric Church's bar. Okay, I don't know. I imagine it's on Broadway. Um. Chiefs bar. He writes. <laughs> <laughs> Chiefs on Broadway. So yeah, it was on Broadway. So that's a uh, uh, you're, you're throwing it to quite a crowd. <laughs> in inside. 
Like in the or out onto the street. I I understood out onto the street. Out onto yeah, I mean you're throwing it onto fucking like Broadway. That's insane. (laughs) That's a that's a crazy move. That is that is not so Jackie, do not do that. Okay. (laughs) Okay? I got away with it. Morgan Wallen did not. We don't want to see you get involved in that situation at all. Uh, (laughs) that that's you know, you you gotta you can't be that guy. Yeah. That guy's an asshole. Yeah. That guy is the guy nobody – you should never want to be that guy, you know? There's just, like, no no reason for that shit. I hate that stuff. That, that is, we we a, threw a brick family. through the window. Like, stop. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking – that's not funny. It's not cool. It's not tough. Six-story bar, you're absolutely potentially killing somebody. <laughs> Imagine if that hit someone. Oh, you're, you're done. You're done. Your career is over because their life is over. You're getting sued for every penny, if not going straight to jail. Charged with three felonies. That's no joke. And that's the kind of shit that, like, they, you know, they, like, make a, like, a, make it a, make an example out of you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we don't like this shit. We don't tolerate this shit. You're fucking done. So, Jackie, <laughs> no vandalism of any sort in, in Mexico. Okay. I deal? Mean, I deal. I mean, again, I'm going alone, so I don't know, like, who I'd be vandalizing with. But I don't oh, know, so you need, a, you need a partner to vandalize? You'd be one of those? Like, you could be convinced... By like your peer pressure. I mean, that would just be crazy if I'm just like alone throwing chairs. Off the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what was crazy about my buddy. Like, he didn't turn to me and go like, "Yo, you dare me to throw this chair off?" He was just like a little bit high and was just like, it was like an experiment. He was just yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> "Making sure Try it again. <laughs> Wild. All right, uh, we got an interview. Very important interview with one of the all-time most badass dudes ever. Walton Goggins is on the show who arguably has one of the greatest TV resumes of all time. Just one hell of a guy. I, I New don't show think... coming out on, on Amazon, Fallout. You don't think what? I don't, I don't think it's... I don't think it's crazy for me to say I love Walton Goggins. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm in love with this he, man. Like, like he's got an air about him where he's just like that's a. I fucking think it, the the cool. voice is part of it a little yeah. bit. It's very soothing. He his again his resume some of the greatest shows of all time, but you just he's everything I thought he was going to be. Yeah. For whatever reason, I was like Walton Goggins is going to be a really nice and like endearing and like warm inviting guy where it's gonna just like feel like we're all buddies and we you know and and it is exactly that along with just unbelievable stories but the names the 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 experiences it's incredible i i feel like what people say about celebrities and when they're trying to really be complimentary is like he's just a regular guy Mm -hmm. he's a regular guy walton goggins is just a regular guy He's also clearly not. I was gonna say he's not he's a regular also, guy like, in my mind. Like he'll yeah. just he'll talk to you, but like, there's also there's that there's another thing to him. Yes, where it's like he's got another level. It's not he's he's very he, he's the perfect blend mm-hmm. of like he's artsy and cool, but he is just a regular guy too. Who's like I mean I, I think after the interview he's like, what are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> right? Like <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's crazy that me and Walton Goggins drink some whiskey in the West Village at some point. Right. I he was like he was that he, too. like he he did, it wasn't clear. But I feel like there was like, a, what do you? The, he spark. He was. Spark. He said something like, "What are you guys doing?" Tonight? Like he just said that. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know if it was he was asking like just being polite or if he was like, like "You want to hang out?" Or, like, he was like, "What are you guys doing?" Tonight? Dude, his his conversation, his line about the boots is one of the greatest lines <laughs> yeah. of all time. I'll just leave it at that. The Walton Goggins boots are the steals the show. So let's get into it. Uh, it's a bucket list I didn't even know was on my list until I did it. Walton Goggins on KFC Radio. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Click that button. Or I'll cut off my finger. <laughs> <laughs>